Welcome to Jewelry Maker. My name's Ed. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I know why you are all tuned in because we are joined by the fantastically <laughs> talented Mark Smith. How are you? Good morning, Mr. Mackay. How are you? I'm all right, yes. You're good. Good, good, Just good. Just about <laughs> orientated, <laughs> shall we say. I usually present the late show. And so this is much earlier than I'm used to being up. But I'm glad because that makes me the early bird that's going to get the worm. And um, if you want to get involved with the show this morning, then just text in to 60777. Start your text with the phrase JM Studio. Otherwise, it goes somewhere else. I don't know where, but it doesn't come through. Um, you could also get involved if you are logged in at jewelrymaker.com. Just click the message box, whatever you type will come through to my producer's screen. Um, but yes, we do have a little text topic that we'd like you all to get involved in this morning. And it's quite interesting because I think we could get some quite off the wall answers to this. What we want to know is your alternative uses for jewellery making components. I've got one to get us all started in fact, um, which I discovered yesterday. I was transferring a plant from a smaller pot to a larger pot and so it was a little bit not structurally sound shall we say once i put it into the new pot so i needed a cane to hold it and i used copper head pins as my plant ties because i couldn't find anything else um and it, they worked brilliantly i will say and uh, yes that's quite good that's quite appropriate this morning because mark is a horticulturist i'm sure if anybody's friends with him on facebook they'll have seen his beautiful garden i wish my garden looked like yours I just want it to rain. I'm desperate for it to rain. Oh, I thought the exact same <sighs> thing the other day. It's looking a bit pitiful at the moment. But there's still, I think, another my couple of weeks. My curly parsley, my, oh, yeah. my thyme, it all <laughs> looks really not healthy. Well, I, st I still think we've got three or four weeks yet before we have to rip all the summer stuff up, yes. start putting bulbs and autumn in. Yes. But it's just looking awful at the moment. So I think this weekend it'll be ripping it out. Yes, I think, I think. you're right. Mm. We should make use of the... Uh, lack of rain yes, by getting everything yes. done I think yeah, <laughs> yeah there we go um, yes actually that's that's another interesting point because of course as we enter in to the next season some people like to design that way and we have got an autumnal kit this morning so that will uh, be very appropriate for the upcoming season and actually as we move out of autumn into winter how about adding these to your collection? They're like icicles. They're fantastic, aren't they? Beautiful um, clear quartz here, so you get that beautiful clarity that you'd associate with sort of high-end jewellery design. And I think that they've been enhanced by the way they've been faceted as well. Irregular sizes, but very dramatic almost a sort of theatrical finish to the gemstones because of the way they've been faceted. So they are coming up as my presenter pick later on in the show. Um, we've got the hub going on this morning, so lots of information and uh, ways for you to interact with the show through the hub. And Amelia will be uh, filling us all in later on in the show. Amelia's our floor manager, but she's also uh, sorting out the hub this morning. So what is it? And the studio and you're the studio cat. Yeah, I Lucy. I must have missed this show with Lucy <laughs> calling you the studio cat. I didn't realise that. <laughs> What's Lucy if you're the studio cat? I won't, I won't, I won't. It's too easy, right, okay. We're gonna move on. <laughs> Let's get underway with our first deal of the morning. And if you're not dialing the free phone about the second the graphics hit the screen, expect to miss out on this deal. I know how popular these are gonna be. We've only got roughly 100, just over 100, sorry, of this particular item. And we're talking about over 900 carats of dendritic agate. Have a look at these. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Here we go. I just tilted it up. So what you're guaranteed to get is over 900 carats. In fact, a minimum of 980 carats of dendritic agate. If anybody's looking at, at the title of the gemstone and they're thinking, oh, I've never heard of this variety of agate. Dendrite is a term within the world of gemology that actually 
I'm going to hold up s some of the larger ones, if that's okay. And um, basically, uh, it refers to the idea of having plant-like inclusions held within the gemstone. You can see that here. Almost looks like foliage inside the gemstone. Now you get a variety of different sizes. Yeah, I'm going to take you through some of the shapes. This is the largest cabochon I have as part of this selection, and it is mahusive, as Lucy would say. In fact, I'm going to measure this quickly because I want to get an idea of just how big this is. There you go, look at that, about 70 millimetres. And then in diameter, about 45. So very, very large cabochon. Of course, cabochon's very popular with a lot of the... Uh, the recently popular disciplines like Soutash, for example, that probably came to prominence over the last 12 to 18 months, and now it's one of the most popular disciplines we see. But also, of course, if you are creating Soutash style designs, then um, I don't know if it was Mark who actually developed the idea, or whether this is a common use for the macrame, but the way the macrame frames the cabochons, yes, that's right. That's fantastic. I think Sarah Elvin on the, at the weekend did, um, showed us how to wrap cabochons with the macrame as well. So yes, it, as you said, it's very popular, and we're, we're even wrapping them macrame wire now, which is yes. which is the next step up. It gives it a, a higher end finish. It certainly does. Look, yes, yes. It? Yeah, when you macrame with wire. So, 980 carats, but. Serious carrot weights in each and every cabochon. So, as part of this collection, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 individual cabochons here. So, uh, I can't guarantee exactly how many you will get. You might get 14, you might get 15. It will depend on the individual carrot weights on each and every cabochon. I doubt you're going to get like one 980. Carrot dendritic oh, agate. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, I think one of the reasons that we've been drawn to these this morning is this gorgeous organic finish that you get on each and every cabochon. And it's also very neutral. It's going to work with virtually any other gemstone. It's actually almost a, a, a monochrome cabochon, really, because isn't that, that sort of combination between the blacks and the whites, thanks to those inclusions creates almost a, a silver-like finish to some of them and then more of a sort of a storm cloud grey or charcoal tone to others. So very, very versatile, very easy to incorporate into your designs with virtually any other gemstone. Actually, you know what, we've got a three, a little treble deal coming up later, frosted rose quartz. And I have to say, I do think that greys and pinks go rather well together. Yeah, you like that one? No, Mark's like nodding. <laughs> I know I'm on to a winner. Actually, that as a pendant on there would look beautiful, isn't it? Kind of gorgeous, perfect. yeah. That's a perfect combination. There you go. A little happy accident. We're only a few minutes into the show. We like that. So the frosted rose quartz coming up later in the show. Right now, your opportunity to add this rather ridiculous carrot weight of dendrite agate to your collection and also the interesting thing is that you do get this combination of shapes where we've got the sort of pear drops or the tear drops and you've got the more traditional ovals so it gives you a little more creative scope rather than just having the uh, the one shape there and hopefully you can see the way these inclusions almost re are resembling some sort of foliage and that it's a little more subtle on other gemstones but it's definitely coming through. These almost have a pebble-like feel to them in many respects. And because you've got the high polished finish, this will suit so many high-end looking designs, but also you can use them in the more naturalistic, the more organic looking designs. Well, now I should just say, around about a quarter of stocks already been allocated, we haven't even brought the price on the screen. Now, whenever we bring you a premiere launch here on Jury Maker, we try to make it a little bit special by giving you an exclusive launch price. So this is going to be your best opportunity to get involved with this deal. Could be your only opportunity to get involved. As I said, we only had a, just over 100 in stock. Around about 20, 25 people already on the phone lines allocating this to their orders. If you are placing it in your basket, please make sure you check out to avoid disappointment because we've got a little bit of a queue forming on the free phone number this morning. Everybody's waiting for our early bird price point, 980 carats of dendrite agate for 24.95. <laughs> Absolutely out of this world. And when you think about 
you know, there's a lot of jewelry makers out there now who have managed to sort of uh, expand their hobby into a small business. A lot of people getting personal commissions or maybe attending the craft fairs locally or even some of the uh, more prestigious craft fairs as well. And if you think about the kind of profits that you can make of offering your customers these kind of carrot weights as pendants, 24.95 for 980 carrots. It's a steal of a deal. Do you love these, Mark? They're amazing, aren't they? I, I would probably, I mean, money hat on here. Yes, good thinking. I would price them up individually. So that, that one in your hand, I would probably put at six pound. I think six, yeah, six, yeah, five to six pound. And then the small ones, maybe three pound. And just put them in a bowl and, and yes. let kids have a little mooch and a little buy. I think they're amazing. Absolutely, because um, actually, you're not the first person to tell me that because our business workshop coordinator said the course, same thing. Yeah, yeah Angela right. Edwards told me that she would sell the individual gemstones and like you're saying, for the mm. larger ones, you want to get over five pounds. But if you've got some of the smaller ones, the little teardrop size ones, then uh, you could probably make that sort of pocket money prices, Absolutely, couldn't you? And yeah. If you get it in a little organza bag, make it feel special. And after all, you are offering some of Mother Nature's creations. This could have been you know, hundreds of thousands of years in the making. And it is nice to have that little connection with Mother Nature. I know there's quite a lot of people who do carry around gemstones with them, either for, you know, because they have crystal healing beliefs, or they carry around their birthstone. Some people just carry around, like, little, um, you know, pebbles they found, mm. you know, when they've been walking on the beach have sentimental value, don't they? 24 95 for 980 carats, of course. The price point is never gonna be representative of what you receive here at Jewelry Maker because we offer the best and most competitive prices on the market. We do that because we're part of the Genuine Gemstone Company. It allows us to get as close to source as possible and therefore pass those savings on to you. Um, I have to say, that over the last four years, <laughs> while we've been developing the channel, we've been expanding at a rate of knots, we have improved our buying power, and this is definitely reflected in the value we offer you. And when I talk about value, we're not just talking about the price point, we're also talking about the quality and the carrot weights that we can provide you with this morning. Have a look at these, they are just exquisite. And uh, if you do wanna get involved with this, you do need to be on the phone lines very, very quickly. They are flying out the door. Now, if you want to get involved with the show this morning, we have started a little text topic. Maybe you've been on the school run and you didn't quite see the start of the show. We want to know your alternative uses for jewellery making components. And uh, the number to text in is 60777. Start your text with the phrase JM Studio. Or alternatively, you can also um, use the message box at jewelrymaker.com. In fact, if you're watching us on your smartphone, which is uh, the wonders of, of modern technology, you don't even need to press anything, in fact, because I was watching it on my phone the other day, because I'm cool like that, and the, uh, the text message box is just there. You can just start typing while you're watching. And we have already had a text from one of our lovely customers in Bristol. It says, hi, Mark and Ed. Beading thread tied to a frame of wood in rows can help your sweet peas to grow where you want them to. That's a fantastic suggestion from Lynn. We're going to have that one. And we've got one uh, come through from Veronica. A text message that says, Hi, Ed and Mark. These cabochons look lovely, embellished in macrame design that Mark did uh, with the Amethyst oh, cabochon yes. last year. What a bargain. Yes, that was good. They are beautiful. Actually, funny that we say that because I really like that design that we sometimes feature on the, the chainmail design, where it frames the cabochon almost in the same way the macrame does. Yeah, that's so beautiful. actually, we always think of cabochons as being something to do with purely soutache work or wire work, but actually, all of these disciplines, it's about the design process, isn't it? Integrating these items into the techniques that you like to use. Um, we're going to have to leave that one with you. We're going to get cracking with a brand new bundle. Okay, is it the, this one? Are we doing the purple one first? Here we go then. Right, so this is a bit of a, a his and hers bundle, if you like, because first of all, we have the feminine colour tones, the beautiful purples. And uh, actually, the last time that I was here on the morning show with you, and uh, people were interacting with the hub, which is, of course, up and running this morning. 
and um, the question that we asked you that morning was your favourite colour tone and purple won hands down actually and so uh, we know how popular this colour tone is I suppose once again it's because of its versatility because of what it offers you in terms of design and creative opportunities you can integrate this colour tone into very regal almost imperial looking designs or of course you can use it in your very feminine design so I think that's one of the reasons that purple is so popular on top of that of course when you're working with this colour tone it has that natural association with amethyst one of the most well-known gemstones on the planet and one of those gemstones which I think a lot of designers rely on to provide them with credibility because of course when people are aware of the gemstone you're working with then they're a little bit more comfortable in parting with their cash, aren't they? We do offer you a fantastic variety of amethyst here. This is very feminine, as I said. Those gorgeous lavender tones here, so not quite the same intensity that you'd associate with your traditional amethyst tones, which would be more similar maybe to this kind of colour. Instead, you've got more of the, more of the subtle hues here, more of the lavenders, the softer tones, which I think, again, will work in the feminine designs because you've also got that softness mirrored in the finish of the gemstones. These very delicate, polished gemstones. Again, they almost have a pebble-like feel, but I think a lot of the time when people are investing in bespoke jewellery designs, they don't necessarily want something that's emulating a high street design. They want something organic they want to know it's the real deal they want to know that mother nature's played her part in creating the design and they want something that they're not going to see somebody else wearing when they walk down the street i mean these because of the shapes you can actually use those in your designs brilliantly i'm just thinking in earrings these look really organic actually and then you can create huge amounts of profit from the strand you've got a lot of gemstones on here um 250 carats in total on this particular item. So these are your amethyst nuggets, they're described as, although uh, I'm not sure it's uh, romantic enough nuggets for these <laughs> gemstones. <laughs> they are gorgeous. Now we're also giving you the threading materials to go alongside these. So you've got your um, lavender satin cord, which is very similar colour tone to the gemstones themselves. Then you've got the more traditional sort of uh, amethyst tones coming through in your um, leatherette cord, your suede cord there. And then you've got this sort of neon tone in the, uh, in the satin cord as well. So that is the hers part of the bundle dealt with. How about the his? So often, when we think about masculine jewellery designs, tend to rely more on the earthier colour tones, which is going to be perfect for the autumn season. So you don't have to use these for masculine designs, but uh, as the boys are back in town, and Mark and I are both here on the show this morning, that's the way we're looking at it. <laughs> but um, again, you know, last week when I was on the morning show, we were looking at autumn designs with... Um, the editor of Beads and Beyond and uh, she'd created a kit and she put bronze light in it because of those reasons because you've got those conker brown tones those chocolate brown hues that you do get from bronze light the other interesting thing about bronze light is that you almost get this sort of chatoyant feel to the gemstone little metallic elements inside the gemstone giving you that shimmer on the surface which make it interesting to the eye as well especially when once again it's been polished in this way so it has a high-end gemstone like feel to it but still an organic finish within the design itself um, and again with those organic cuts you're getting over 250 carats of bronze out there as well similar sizes but of course they are regular and then we have also giving you the earthy uh, colours in the cords as well. So these are your wax cords, so again they'd be perfect for masculine designs and you've got the uh, three different colour tones within these, uh, these brown tones. So you've got the sort of uh, the cream or beige tone there, then you've got the chocolate brown and, uh, well, sort of a milk chocolate brown and a dark chocolate brown. That's a good way of doing it. <laughs> so you've got the uh, three different chords in each selection the purples 
and the browns there. 10 meters on each reel. They're all one millimeter in diameter. And my producer's getting very excited. I imagine it's because there's already so many people coming through at jewelrymaker.com. Of course, if you're shopping online, you can already see the price. So you're already a step ahead of me because I don't know which, what price this one's going to. Oh. oh! 60 meters of satin cord, suede cord, and your wax cord there. And you've got the bronzite nuggets and the lavender amethyst nuggets. So you could either create two independent suites of jewellery or you could probably mix them up. Would, would you mix them up at all, Mark? I'm just perplexed about the price. I'm just trying to work it out. <laughs> I mean, aren't each of those reels, I think, are 195, aren't they? Are they Normally, yes, the, the cord so, is. So you've generally. got two pound off and two strands of beads, one of which is amethyst and one of which. Can't say fairer than that. Amethyst for free. Not many companies give their amethyst <laughs> no. for free. Now, before anybody starts dialing up to say, Ed said I could have some amethyst for free. Only as part <laughs> of this bundle. That's just uh, the way that uh, Mark was thinking about the, uh, the value here. So he's just breaking it down for you. Basically, these are around about two pound per reel. So normally it'd be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 pounds or give or take or 11 pounds 70. There you go, there's my maths kicking in. Um, and uh, yes, this morning you can add all of these reels of cord and two strands of gemstones to your order for £10. We talk about <laughs> offering you add it to your order prices here at Jewelry Maker, but this is the kind of price we've put it on show so early. This is a, a get your order started kind of price point. Especially if you are interested in any of the traditional braining techniques, like your macrame or your kumahimo, things like that. This is a great way to stock up on some of the most essential colours for the upcoming seasons. If you think about how beautifully these are going to suit your autumn designs. And these are the kind of bundles that are not only very, very cost effective in terms of the savings we offer you, but also when you think about the kind of designs you can create. Because of course, if you are working on macrame bracelets, for example, Depending on how much time and the quality or the sort of uh, the perceived value of the gemstones that you're going to be working with, you could actually offer these designs at more affordable prices. So if you do keep it simple, potentially, you can be offering your macrame bracelets for maybe sort of five to ten pounds, depending on what gemstones you've included, mm. of course. And so therefore, for just two macrame bracelets you can make your money back on this bundle and of course if you are working with this particular strand and you're creating the masculine macrame designs i always think they look a little more effective if you are sparing with your gemstones for for the gents so maybe six gemstones and a little bit of cord and you'll make your money back no straight away we have actually just had another text in, an alternative use. Is that what it is? No, Nick's text in to say, loving the bronzite, one of my favorite stones, TV not doing it justice. Absolutely, as we were saying, it does have this almost chatoyant-like effect to it, the kind of thing that you'd associate with tiger's eye, maybe, traditionally. Look at that, these actually look like, that actually looks like a little conker. It's got the same sort of, almost, <laughs> you know, the sort of wood-like wood feel. Belinda has also texted in to say, uh, monofilament crisscrossed over the pond keeps the heron from eating the fish. Perfect. I've actually seen those nets, in fact, in garden centres. You can pay a fortune for them. Um, no, that's right. <laughs> so that's a, that's a great idea, actually, if you've got time to create that lattice effect. I'm going to leave that one with you at, at 9.95. Hopefully we'll get a chance to recap that later in the show. We are now going to move over and uh, challenge Mark, rather exciting. Now I'm going to take my coffee at this junction. It's never a challenge, is it? Well, <laughs> sometimes I, uh, I think that we give our designers items that are a little bit removed from what they'd normally use okay. and therefore yeah. it takes them out of their comfort zone. But this morning, we're not taking that risk. We know that whatever <laughs> we give Mark, he's going to create something amazing. So we're... Uh, We've just gone down your uh, your desired route, really, haven't we? Ace, absolutely Hemp amazing. cord, again, perfect for masculine designs. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. And if you're starting with macrame, hemp is without doubt the best 
type of medium to get involved with first. It's very forgiving. Oh, right. There's not necessarily any need for glue because because there's an organic product, all the fibres oh, knit together really say, well. Yeah. And it's very strong and these, these colours are just days. I mean we do them in bright colours as well, yes. but for the more subdued autumnal tones as you yes. mentioned earlier, this is this these are just perfect. And you and you actually get yes. two as part you get, of this bundle. This is ace because, I must yes. stop saying ace, I do apologise, <laughs> I've been told off at home for saying ace, and you told me off on Friday for saying lush. I didn't tell you off, I just said did you want to go that one step further and say <laughs> girt lush, that's all. <laughs> I like these words, yeah. But what's, nice what's, uh, what's really good about this pack is we've got half mil, yes. which will go through your beads uh -huh. as your lazy strand, yes. and then you've got the one mil to do the actual braiding and the macrame Fantastic. with, so you've got, you've got both sizes in here, which is Brilliant. And does that also help if you're just getting started? If you've without got a doubt, without yeah. a doubt. I mean, if, if if the hemp doesn't go through the drill holes, you'll start. You have to start using beading thread, and then you'll need to use a different way of finishing. So for the hemp to go through the, the holes is just the best. So and um, the gemstones that we've got here appear to have quite sizable massive holes. You can, get, holes. Well, you can get one mil through these as well, not just the half mil. So it's perfect. Wow, this obsidian is. Spectacular yeah, as well. Now, yeah, I was just that. looking at that one actually. That's <laughs> one the good one. It's it? awesome. We often struggle to sh actually display yes. the optical phenomenon. Wow, wow. Actually lives within obsidian. So look at that gorgeous iridescence there when we move the gemstone into That's just that amazing. light source. You get this beautiful metallic shimmer within the gemstone. It almost looks like a little galaxy. I always think it, that uh, this sort of this type of obsidian is if if you had black onyx yes. and labradorite, and they had a love child. Yes, that's this it. Would, isn't this it? would be the love child. <laughs> it of is those the two hybrid of those yeah. two effects, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, because from one angle you do get that sort of high polished jet black sheen that you'd associate with, mm. like you say, black onyx, yeah, for example, beautiful. and then. Uh, as soon as the light enters the gemstone, you get that optical effect. Now, honestly, I've had so many <laughs> strands of obsidian where I could see this effect and I couldn't get it across this on screen. This strand. just goes to highlight the quality of this particular strand of obsidian. Now, these are 12 millimeters in size, and you've got 340 carats in total. It's known as golden obsidian because of those inclusions. And then you've also got the 14 millimeter rounds there, so very, very sizable. And you're getting over 400 carats on that particular strand, 450 carats, in fact. So two strands of obsidian, and then you've got the one mil hemp cord in the neutral tones and the 0.5 mil, along with your essential findings. So you've got your chain, your jump rings, your toggle clasps, your ribbon cord ends, and uh, your jump rings as well there. Of course, your ribbon cord end is perfect for giving a professional finish That's to fantastic. your macrame Because designs. you've got four grading sizes there, you, you can use as many cords as you like, especially the bottom one. I think the, the large one at the bottom, I mm -hmm. think I've managed to get 16 one mil hand. 16 one yeah, mil. In the largest. Wow, there you yeah. go then. That's fantastic. And on top of that, just to create a real wholesale opportunity here, we're also going to provide you with a little silver, silver finish, yes, silver finish, uh, silver plated copper spacer beads. But again, the drill holes are very sizable here, aren't they? Those. There you go, your one mil cord goes through them. There's your little silver plated copper beads. You get 195 in total. They're four millimetres in size, so that's quite interesting because probably dainty enough to be used as an accent stone, but also still large enough mm, to make an absolutely. impact in your design right. so again all about versatility all about giving you creative opportunities and of course we will be giving you some inspirational designs because we're challenging mark to see what sh what he can create with this bundle now if you were to actually purchase all of these items individually any other time you'd be paying over 30 pounds that's not going to be our bundle price this morning of course, whenever we create a wholesale bundle, the idea is not only that we allow you to replenish a lot of your stocks at once, but also that we give you a unique discount deal. And that's exactly what we're going to do. 19 95 <laughs> a saving of over £10 this morning. Again, if you're a very confident jewellery maker and you intend to sell your designs, that's basically money in your pocket because we're improving your profit margins by offering you these savings. These are probably the kind of items that you that you'd be uh, investing in at this time of year anyway in fact obsidian fantastic gemstone for uh, the party season actually because 
because a lot of people are going to want those sort of jet black tones but when you've got that little metallic yeah, shimmer yeah. it's good actually i've just noticed another really impressive obsidian have a look at this now they're all going to possess this optical effect but it's just that every now and then the studio lighting actually uh, allows it to come to the forefront of the gemstone and therefore we can display it absolutely fantastic very very impressive varieties of, of obsidian here and we've had another text it's come through from phyllis it says morning all <laughs> i <laughs> you're a line ahead of me Sorry. i guess that's <laughs> wonderful i used to any wire <laughs> what is it oh uh plaited attached to underwire from a bra to replace the handle <laughs> on my camper bar Oh, that's genius. <laughs> that is absolutely <laughs> genius. <laughs> we were looking for alternative uses for your jewellery making components this morning. My, I thought mine was really uh, innovative and now Phyllis has blown it well out of the water with that one. That's fantastic. So there you go. If you want to get involved with the show this morning, then uh, simply text through to 60777, but start your message with the phrase JM Studio. Or you can get involved by uh, jewelrymaker.com and uh, just click the message button. <laughs> you were talking about that we had one earlier about um, about ponds and um, wire yes. across. But the the um, the purple organza bags that we get our kits in, I give mine to next door neighbour and they fill them with barley straw and float them on their pond to stop algae forming. That's there he goes, one. another one. <laughs> we're getting a lot of uh, outdoorsy yeah, uses yeah, for yeah. these items at the moment, aren't we? Um, so. We have now challenged Mark, so I'll let you Wonderful. get underway, sir. Thank and I'm going to go back over. We're going to launch a brand new strand. Uh, sorry, we're going to give you a second bite of the cherry of a strand which we have not had in stock for very long. But we're already down to limited availability. Now, this for me is taking me into one specific genre of jewelry making, and that's the bridal themed jewellery designs. They are exquisite. Now they're described as cream keshi pearls and that's pretty much accurate although I'd have to describe them as champagne keshi pearls myself because they do have this light golden shimmer on the surface of a gemstone thanks to the pearlescence and I have to say if you do want that gorgeous colour play, that beautiful pearl essence that is normally associated with this natural mineral, I think Keshi pearls are where it's at. Because of those irregularities, those imperfections that you get on the surface of the pearls, almost this ruffled like effect, it does seem to catch the light a little more than a round pearl and so you do get this fantastic pearl essence. But I have to say, when you are looking at these organic pearls and the shapes here, I just can see how they could be incorporating so many different designs, I always think that they have a leaf-like shape to them, Keshi pearls. These are eight by seven millimeters in size, so if you can imagine these being used on a bridal tiara, perhaps. Or even, um, you know, a flower girl's hair comb, you could use these as maybe the foliage around um, the focal point, a, a floral motif perhaps on a, on a hair comb. I just think these are out of this world, of course, because pearls do have strong associations with sophistication, elegance, and of course, naturally with weddings, they're, uh, they're thought to be able to stop the bride from crying on a big day. That's the traditional folklore attached to the gemstone. I don't think it works because in my experience, <laughs> all the brides I've seen have been wearing pearls and they've been crying so uh, who knows it might work for you though uh, eight by seven millimeters in size that is going to be an approximation because as I say Keshi pearls the very nature of them is that they are very organic almost it's almost the imperfections in these pearls that make them so perfect for so many different designs and that's why they are flying out the door at a rate of knots now. This is your second bite of the cherry. These have previously been launched on the show, but we've never seen them on the morning show. So this is your first opportunity to get involved. And um, I have to say, we only have around 50 strands available. We, I should say we had around 50 strands available because I've already got people flying through both on the free phone number and at jewelrymaker.com. Again, if you're adding these to your baskets, you need to check out to avoid disappointment. This is going to be a sellout deal this morning. Of course, we know that um, generally within the industry, 
we are expecting to see rises in the price on pearls. So the price of pearls will probably increase over the coming 12 to 18 months because it's a little more difficult to cultivate pearls now. They've introduced new legislation to the industry. It has seen a 40% decrease in the production of pearls. We currently, for my money, are pretty much honouring the prices we've always provided you with on genuine pearls. And of course, these are the real deal, hand carved by Mother Nature herself. I've got people buying ones, twos, even threes of this strand. No wonder, genuine cultured pearls. This delicate, this elegant, this sophisticated with that beautiful champagne tone for less than £10 this morning. And of course, if you are intending to use these within your bridal commissions, then of course, um, I wouldn't try to uh, create your price point based on the wholesale deals that you're getting on your pearls this morning because of course the price that you're charging won't be representative of what people are getting because that's the value we can offer you here at Jewelry Maker. We go above and beyond. We've been working with the same pearl suppliers for the best part of a decade, and that's why we've built up this relationship. That's why we're able to share the industry knowledge that we have with you, but also why we can still pass on these very ultra-competitive prices when it comes to pearls. And um, I would actually advise you to do your own research into the price you can pay for pearls from other suppliers. In fact, I don't think you'd always be able to find Keshi pearls from other suppliers, if I'm honest with you. It's not something you're going to see every day, but they are rather exquisite, aren't they? They're available right now for 9 95 Congratulations to uh, Yulia. You've got two. Anne's got two. Um, anonymous buyer. You've got three in West Lothian. Kyoko. That's a, a very gorgeous name. You've got two as well, so lots of people multi-buying this strand because people recognise the value that we're offering you. But of course, the, I, I know what it is. It's that, uh, that little cartoon moment where the, the pound or the dollar signs have come in your eyes. You know, Cha-ching! 9.95 for those pearls. I know what I'm making. So yes, if you do want to get involved with that, please act quickly because we only had a limited number available in stock and they are very, very quickly being allocated to people's orders. We're now gonna move over and do the first kit of the morning. So, um, I have to warn everybody right now, the second the graphics hit the screen, and they just did, you can start dialing the free phone number to put yourself to the front of the queue. I'd advise that you do that right now. We are never going to have enough stock of this one to go round. I know there's going to be people disappointed this morning, in fact, so I'm going to apologise now to everybody that misses out. I don't think I've ever brought you a kit that has this much potential. Sorry, I haven't left you much room there. It's all right. <laughs> don't worry about me. I think people would rather see this ridiculous suite of jewellery. Look how many items Mark's managed to uh, create using this. In fact, the camera can't zoom out enough to show you everything. I have to turn it around to show you the rest. There you go. <laughs> this is just... Wow. Now, I haven't actually had the privilege of, of seeing this before or bringing it to you. This is the Zari card. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I've, I've seen people talking about it, but I've never... No, experienced it's it if you absolutely like. wonderful it's it's incredible because on some designs it looks really really high end and on others it gives a contemporary mm. feel it's, it's it. the point I like it, it looks like wire it looks as though you've twisted all this wire it's very metallic looking and it's very beautiful amazing colors as well yeah I, I want is it, uh, to it really, I want it, to feel it it, because it, I want it, to get it feels an idea. softer than it looks it's, it's amazing it's Ooh, beautiful isn't it yes and it's so strong it's fantastic we t you talk a lot about the strength of the cords. Is that because um, the macrame technique relies there's, there's, on that? There's is lots that of what pulling, yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes, yeah. I love this. Ah, here we go. I did it wrong as well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I it opened so at the excited. top I, I and pulled out, but it. actually it opens <laughs> yes. um, almost like a presentation yeah. box, <laughs> which is uh, ideal, really, for live TV presentations. There you go. Oh, OK, that's amazing. A third of the stock's already been allocated. We haven't brought a price on screen yet. We haven't even shown you much from the kit. Um, now, the idea behind our kits is that they contain everything you need to get started, or they allow you to uh, replenish all your stocks at once. I think on this occasion, 
this is actually more of a sort of designer inspiration style it kit is. because it's quite focused. Absolutely. I mean, I've, I think I've got about 30 beads left. I just ran out of time. Right. I've got 30 beads. You left. could have made more. Yeah, and I think I've probably got half the cord left as well. Unbelievable. So After creating this, yeah, we've got yeah. like got nearly 20 pieces of jewellery here. Yep. Unbelievable, of course. You're going to have your own gemstones at home anyway. Absolutely. No, that's right. That's right. I better take you through the gemstones if there's any room for me on this desk with all this jewellery. So you, it's not as though we're sort of replacing the gemstones with threading materials here. We've actually given you a five strand jewellery mm. kit. Oh, you can see how quickly they're flying out the door there on screen. Look at these, yeah. They're spectacular, aren't they? Is this shell pearl? Amazing, absolutely stunning. Okay, I'm <laughs> never going to be able to use the phrase that oil on water effect again because this really does have that oil on water effect. This is genuinely like looking at little Tahitian pearls. That's They're how right, they feel. It, they do, yeah, that's right. They look identical to, to, to Tahitian pearls. They're actually shell pearl, so this is reconstituted natural mineral that we've used to create these high impact style pearls because they're 14 millimeters in size talk a lot about the use of natural minerals of course and um, the last time I did a pearl showcase I was on with Linda and she was talking about the idea of using natural cultured pearls alongside your shell pearls so that way you've got a natural feel throughout the design but you do get a bit of uniformity in there that's as right, well that's right. and that's the the beauty of the shell pearl and of course I have to say that because you are dealing with a natural mineral because you've got the natural from the shell. You still almost get the pearlescent effect, don't you? Certainly on this one. I don't know if these, is, if this is a sort of coating that's been placed on it. Well, it must be to create it's that fantastic really effect. I mean, if anyone's got any, um, not the really mercury coated, what are they called? With the. Um, I'm not sure. No, I'll remember, it'll come back to me. But, but you know the effect yes. that you've got on these. It's it's. Um, Reminiscent of abalone shell to me. Yes, that's now right. that's, that's the right. kind yes. of look that you've got here, this metallic shimmer. Now, that's not all we're giving you because we've also got the same size in Michelle Pearl, but in the burgundy tone. Again, this would be perfect for uh, you know, the party season coming yeah, up later true. in the year. Oh, <laughs> half the stock's already been allocated. You can see how quickly this one's going to be allocated. <gasps> this is fantastic. Incredible, it's like it? tiger print. <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Now this is your orange magnesite. These are 12 millimetres in size, so you've got 400 carats in total. The beauty of magnesite is that it does take on the dyeing processes rather brilliantly, so that's why you're able to create this very vibrant tone. And uh, we've also had a text from Tanya, regular viewer and contributor to the show. And Tanya says, never been so pleased to be off sick. The boys are back in town. <laughs> uh, Mark is my design hero, loving the cord in this first kit. So there you go. So Tanya, uh, as I say, regular viewer, but also contributes regularly yeah. to the show. In fact, Tanya's one of my good friends on Facebook as well. So nice of you to join us this morning. Have a look at these strands. We've got to get the price on screen very quickly because it's about to sell out. You've also got... This fantastic black agate, 250 carats, and you've got your 10 mil rounds there, and then you've got your little, well, it's described as blue shell, but probably say, uh, again, it's got a, it's got a little purple hue in there mm. as well, hasn't it? So these are your six mil, uh, and these are also shell pearl so you do have that uniform roundness okay we've got to win the price in on screen before this is a sellout deal if you were to add all of these items individually to your item it would be 55 pounds roughly that's not going to be your price this morning 34.95 <laughs> for all of that fantastic because i didn't even get a chance to show oh you you also get your, your traditional threading materials so if anybody needs to create a lattice just to keep the heron away <laughs> or you're going to get all your monofilament there uh, as well as your elastic and your golden beading thread and you also get your um i think this is usually talked about as a, a kumahimo findings pack mm. or something like that it's very specific to the braiding techniques because you've got the bell-shaped cord ends 
you've got the uh, the little toggle class, you've got the jump rings, and then I always forget the name of those ones at the top. Bell caps. Bell caps, that's yeah. it. These ones, that right? Oh, those. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. they're um, bales. Oh, those are just the yeah, traditional the bales, bales, aren't yeah, they? Oh, yeah. okay. I've seen them used uh, in. Well, funny, I'll, I'll tell you actually. what happened when I used what the bale in a moment. It was it was bizarre. Okay, well Sharon's <laughs> text in to say, Morning, wasn't going to buy today, but so couldn't resist this kit. Beautiful mm. designs as always, Mark. Love Sharon. Yeah, incredible. These are literally flying out the door. You can see we are now down to uh, almost wow. limited availability. About two thirds of the stock's been allocated very, very quickly. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see. If you can, if you can point, Sorry. if you can pass me over just this necklace here. Now this yes, was a choker. Okay. okay. It was an eight strand choker and it's, it's quite thick when it's actually finished. So what I did, I threaded all of the eight threads through the bale here. Wow. And it acted like the, um, the Viking knit draw plate. Oh, and that really? is how so it, it actually... It's really stretchy. So that is Fantastic. twice the length as when I started. So, so just be warned, if you're making a Kumihimo piece, it does, it's, it's, it's quite stretchy. So just there's rubbing it through that draw plate. So there's almost a sort it. of yeah. elastic-like quality Amazing. to this. Amazing. So that, that's, it? that's twice the length. So it's it almost like you've far. got more than you, more than you even yeah. think you're getting with this <laughs> kit, <laughs> which is hard I to believe. I think we worked out it's 30 metres. Did we say it was, wow. I think it was 30 metres? Yeah, 30 metres. 20, no, 25. 25 metres in each. 50 metres of each colour. Is that right? I think it's 150 metres altogether. In yeah, the, in so the 50 three. metres of each colour. Yeah, sorry, yeah. That's fantastic, wow. isn't it? 300 metres in total of that fantastic cord, and it really is spectacular because it has got this gorgeous high sheen finish to right. it, almost That's sparkly, fantastic. if you like. Um, so, which of your designs are we going to. Uh, well, I've made quite a few of these. Right. So, I thought I'd show you the, the, the bi colour. And they're really simple, but just so effective. And, you and get it that, allows that the 14 mil rounds to be the that's star right, of the show right. as well, and doesn't you it? You can mix any combination of colours. I think I've done six of the same type of design, but just alternating colours and the beads that you've got. Fantastic. And it's, it's wonderful. So It's all about creative scope, and you've certainly got that yeah. with this kit. So what I've got on my board in front of me here is I've got two strands of beading thread as my lazy, because mm -hmm. the bead holes will take it. And I've got fingertip to fingertip length of one colour, which I've cut into two. So I've okay. got two separate pieces, about three foot long. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've put both the separate pieces through the top of my macrame board and held it in there. Okay. And it's really important you have two separate pieces at this point. Right. Okay. And at the top, I've done four square knots. It's up to you entirely how many you could, if you wanted to, just have one bead in the middle. Right. Entirely up to you. But for this, I've got eight half square, so four square knots. Okay. Yes. I've put on seven beads, and all I've done in between is simple square knot. Okay, so I'll just do the last two. Okay, and we do the right hand side. I love these pearls. I think it's my favourite strand in the kit. They're gorgeous, They're just stunning. aren't they? So we do the seventh, and then what you would do, you would do the same amount of knots at the bottom. So you do four square knots to replicate. Um, the symmetricalness of symmetricalness is that a word? That's not a word, but no, we'll put it in the marksionary. Okay, symmetry. Yeah. That'll do. <laughs> okay, so we'll imagine that we've done the full eight half knots at the bottom, so it's exactly the same top and bottom. What we're going to do at the bottom of the board, we're just going to pop in our two cords to keep them out of the way. Okay. okay. Now we introduce our second colour. I've gone for the turquoise. Again, same length, fingertip to fingertip, but this time. Don't cut it in half. Okay. Just one continual length. Got you. And what we're going to do, we've got four, as you remember, at the top we've got eight half square knots or three full. This time we want to do one and a half knots. Okay. So we're going to slide the turquoise underneath. Okay. Bring both sections up so they're the same length. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to tie the first knot on the left hand side, first of all. This is going to be half a square knot. Okay, so you need to position your first start of your knot. You can see actually the grooves in between the knots when you've done your first section. So we do the right hand side next, and we position that directly underneath this one here. So in effect, we're macrame on top of macrame. And the third part of the, of the one and a half knots should fall nice and neatly above your first bead, which it does perfectly. Okay, so we're going to carry on with the right hand side now. So we've, we've gone left, right, left. We're going to do the right. 
So we'll do a square knot. We're going to cage the bead as if we were caging over one lazy, lazy. And we're going to do the first part of the knot. And then we're going to go across and do the second half. I'll do a couple of these and then I'll tilt the piece of work so you can see how it looks. Do the right hand side, then we do the left. Okay, we'll do one more section and I'll show you how it looks. And this is a uh, quite uh, sort of wintry style it's design, I it's think, yeah, yeah, with no, the turquoise absolutely. and the silver. I mean, you really can't get across to people the, the finish on these shell pearls uh, on it's screen, really. You've got to see them <laughs> to believe them, haven't you? They are spectacular. Love it. Oh, really? Oh, no, that's uh, bad yes. news. I said that I thought some people were going to uh, miss out on this deal. We've got 12 of this kit remaining in stock. Oh, but I, oh, 11, but I think we might have about 13 or 14 people that are already placing their basket. And, of course, if somebody was to dial up now before you checked out, that will be another person missing yeah. out. So, uh, yeah, if you've got that sitting in your basket, check out now. Otherwise, you will miss out. That's uh, a fact. I can say that with utter confidence. So, uh, yes, okay. our apologies, uh, but of course, when you're putting this many items together, you are a little bit limited in how many you can create. Normally, this particular kit would be close to £55. This morning, £34.95, so a £20 saving. And of course, I mean, <laughs> you can see the scope of the kit because Mark's getting so many designs. Um, sorry to interrupt there, no, but I just wanted to make sure people were aware of the uh, okay. the stock situation. Okay. If I quickly show how we're finished, see how quickly I've made that bracelet. And if I turn it to the side, you can see you get the double row effect. I mean, if you wanted to, you could flip it over and do another row so you had silver, it turquoise, would, silver yeah, if you wanted. Like that just looked it. stunning on the wrist. So to finish, it couldn't be simpler. The little section that you've made your, your second lot of macrame with, you would just fill the last well with okay. blue. You know, the, the epoxy cement yes. that we've got on our, on our website. You fill the last well back and front, and then you would cut away the ends. Okay, so that'd be nice and... Yeah. You know. that's, that's kind of the equivalent of singeing the paracord well, to absolutely. seal it, isn't it? That's yeah, right. using the glue, yeah, okay. okay. So what you do, you do exactly the same top and bottom, is you would take, first of all, your beading threads, okay, and you would separate the two, okay? And what we do is, some call it a surgeon's knot or, or a double knot. Yes. So you tie once, twice, okay, and you pull as tight as you can down to the bottom, okay? That's not going to go anywhere now. That's, that's, that's also kinked as well, so it's going to hold nice and tight. Okay. We cut away the ends, okay? We take our two cords that we've got. Let me just take that off. So we've got our two cords running top and bottom, and all we do is we do a, a simple overhand knot once, which now covers the knot that you've made. Right. So it's, yes. there's, no, there's no scratchiness on there. All about the finish. Yeah, you tie a second knot, like so. And then you decide how long you want your tie to be, or say five inches. Okay, we do the same at the other end. So we take our two beading threads, like so. Again, tie once twice, pull down to the bottom as tight as you can. You've got a double knot and it's kinked, so that's not going to go anywhere at all. It's interesting that a lot of the actual techniques go to actually strengthen oh, the threading material, right. so then right. it solidifies your, your design, doesn't it? Yeah, so you fold over your bracelet to make sure that your cords are all the same size. Looks like so. Spectacular. And then all you do then is you tie a little knot on each of the four cords just for a bit of detail, and then on you'd use those. On the inside edge of the bracelet, yeah. where it's, they're not facing the studio lights, the swirl of colour on those shell pearls oh, is amazing, aren't they? Yeah, awe inspiring. I love it. So that's, that's, that's the bracelet. And that's the finished product. Absolutely um, amazing. If I quickly show you this yeah. one. This is without beads. So this is straightforward silver macrame. Mm -hmm. And then all I've done is go, going over the top with another colour. But you get the under colour coming through first. 
So as I said, I've got, I had so much cord left, I could have made another 20 of these easily. Wow. So it, this, this is just gonna go so far. And if you use three beads in a bracelet, I mean, you could then make- you probably won't even run out of gemstones either. Amazing. No, absolutely not. That's incredible. Um, we've had another text from Michelle, another top tip of alternative <laughs> uses for your jewelry making components. It says, morning all. A few <laughs> lengths of monofilament dangling from dimly lit doorways and ceilings for Halloween parties to spook people out. I like it. That's, That's from Shelley in Hartlepool. And uh, Jill said, and say, when my toilet system was leaking, I used jewellery wire to tie up the floater <laughs> to stop the water filling it up again. That's another good one. Yeah, the beading thread is, um, well, people do have plentiful supplies. If you, if you twist three foot of one mil wire, you can make a, a temporary coat hanger. That's a good one. That's a great one for crafters, yeah. actually. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, uh, this one has come through from an anonymous text to put your name on them if you want to shout out. It says, hi all at JM. Yeah. I've used a length of one mil wire to uh, clear yeah. a block bathroom sink. It that's works. Good. Yeah, that's good that's another good one. Yeah. Like it. Keep them coming, guys, because <laughs> uh, it's not our show. It's your show. We want you to interact with us this morning, and uh, we will be heading over to the hub shortly. But right now, I'm going to launch a brand new strand. Thank you so pleasure. much for that demonstration, pleasure. Mark. Absolute Fantastic pleasure. kit there. You can see how sort of all-encompassing it was really there um, and we're now gonna bring you oh it's these gorgeous labradorite nuggets that we've got here we talked about this earlier in the show maybe when we referred to the keshi pearls for example or the bronzite and the lavender amethyst what you've got here is a high-end finish but an organic feel so ticking a lot of different boxes with one strand of gemstones and again all about creative opportunities when you're designing your own jewellery and um, I have to say this labradorite is fantastic because again you do have an organic feel from the irregularities and the way it's been cut and faceted but because of the labradorescence and because the facets bring that optical effect to the surface of the labradorite it actually looks very very high-end because as you can see the facets themselves almost dictate the way you're able to experience the labradorescence. Now, the labradorescence is this colour plate inside the gemstone. I know that regular customers and viewers will already be well aware of the optical effect in this, and that's why they vote it as their favourite gemstone for the last two years. But if you are new to us and you haven't experienced labradorite before, I have to say, this is one of the gemstones that uh, I think does create profitable jewellery for a lot of our designers out there because often when you are selling in traditional venues in a craft fair for example you might be selling to people that don't have a lot of gemological knowledge if you like and so when you can actually experience these optical phenomena for yourself it will help to capture people's imagination and uh, probably make them a little bit more anxious about owning gemstones like they, they'll have to have it once they see this and Labradorite again the other reason that this may be so profitable for so many jewellery makers is that it's perfect for elegant evening wear for a feminine look or you can integrate it into an everyday piece for a gent as well because you've got this very natural base colour this sort of stone grey tone but then of course when you turn it towards the light you get the electric blues the electric greens the violet tones even the golden shades as part of this particular strand of labradorite and as i say it has been voted as our jewelry makers favorite gemstone for the last two years looks to me like this could be a sellout deal because we've got 130 carats of labradorite for just 14.95 absolutely ridiculous again this is one of the gemstones which i think does turn people on to the idea of beginning a gemstone collection if you like and we're not staying there so this is currently available for $14.95 we're about to take this down to $8.95 and add it to your order price now anytime we offer your price reduction here on the show it will only ever be for a limited period of time you're lucky on the morning show because it lasts right up until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning so you can continue to add this to your basket at the clearance price for another 23 hours but at that point if there's any stock remaining 
it will go back up to the original price point of 14.95. I don't think we're probably in too much danger of that happening because I expect this to sell out over the uh, over the coming day or so if not the coming hour. 8.95, a genuine clearance price for beautiful Labradorite. And look at that there. We've just been able to really capture the Labrador essence there. Probably the more traditional color tones as well, the electric blues there, which are, uh, I think, more traditional. But you have got the golden tones here, the apricot, as well as the greens and the purples as well. So it's a fantastic strand of Labradorite. And it's all thanks to the way it's been faceted by our lapidaries. So we've enhanced Mother Nature's work there to bring you something very special. And then we've only gone and given you the most competitive price point on the market. A clearance price this morning down from 14.95 to 8.95. Great way to maximize on your one P and P per day. We are gonna have to leave that on with you, I'm afraid, because it's now time to uh, go over to Amelia on the hub. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The Hub. Now this is your section of the show where you can air your requests and we will endeavour to get those things on screen for you. OK, so I'm going to start off with the Wall of Fame and this is where you send in your beautiful designs to us and we read your message on air. So this first entry is from Valerie Marsden. Here we go and she says, Good afternoon, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Now the sodalite is from Jewelry Maker Mystery Box. Oh, from a mystery box. And the spaces are from my stash. And I based the design on a turquoise necklace I bought in the Mojave Desert. Oh, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Hope you like it. Regards, Valerie in Wiltshire. There we go, Valerie. And that is number 226. Thank you, Valerie. Right, and with our next wall of fame, this is number 227, our beautiful, beautiful bracelet there. And it is sent from Ellie in Barcelona. Oh, I love Barcelona. And she says, hi there to all at JM. Attached is my entry for this week's wall of fame. Now I use Larimer nuggets and a 0.6 millimeter silver wire, all from Jewelry Maker. I took inspiration for this bracelet from Laura Binding and uh, she showed it on a few months ago and I really like how it turned out. I was so happy to be able to get the three strand bundle of Larimer from the show a show a while ago. It was an amazing price as always. And I have to say that the stones looked even better when I got them home, they often do which is often the way even though I liked how they looked on the show fantastic and she says thank you guys for keeping me entertained on pretty much a daily basis good luck to you all Ellie in Barcelona well now if you'd like to invite any of the crew to Barcelona to see you in person and have a little jewelry maker chat then you know that'd be most welcome okay so the customer requests we have had from you over the last few weeks um, have been actually quite consistent um, a lot of you are after the tiara display stands which we've been showing I know that Sheila uh, used those a few days ago and they're a really wonderful way to show off your designer um, uh, tiara displays and uh, you would also like to see more of the black, black leatherette display busts obviously we have a selection of those on the show and we'll try and get those out to you in obviously in the next few weeks and also the mannequin heads which um, we have been showing recently and we'd like to uh, offer you the opportunity to purchase these we believe towards the end of November so that is all of your requests for now so I look forward to seeing you back here in about an hour's time we're going to be showing um, a presenter's pick and we've got an advert for you now to how you can enter the wall of fame. And uh, yeah, so this is our presenter's pick. It's coming up. Around about midday, I believe, unless anything happens that changes that, Amelia. But 190 carats of gorgeous clear quartz, and I think the description is perfect because shards, it just yes. sounds so organic and it encapsulates everything yes. about those gorgeous clear quartz. So they're coming up later in the show as my presenter pick. Instantly drawn to those when I arrived this morning. And uh, as Amelia just said, we're going to go to a quick break and show you how to enter the wall of fame. 
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. Did you know that the Jewelry Maker phone number is free from a UK landline? Now you can spend those extra pennies on more shopping. The fastest way to shop with Jewelry Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the Watch Live button on the front page. You can also use our refine tool and narrow down your search. Once you've found an item that you like, just simply click on the Buy Now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget you can add as many items to your basket per day and still only pay one p and p Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. If you're new to Jewelry Maker, simply contact our call centre and we'll send you a tutorial DVD and Get Started booklet all free of charge. We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Very exciting this morning because we are joined by the very talented Mark Smith and uh, has already been bringing us some inspirational designs. Mark's just working on his challenge at the moment. So if you already invested in that bundle, we will bring you some designs later in the show. Right now, we're asking you to get involved with the show and interact with us to tell us your alternative uses for jewelry making components. We've already had some great ideas actually. The text number that you need to use is 6077, start your phrase, uh, start your phrase, start your text with the phrase JM Studio. And um, we've already had another top tip coming from Tanya. It says, loving Amelia and the hub. <laughs> Never seen this section before. So that's our alternative use for our floor managers. We get them to present the show as well. Uh, so Patricia is here as well. Says, Amelia is lovely. So enthusiastic, she should have a show of her own. I've got kids to feed, guys. Come on, now I'm joking. <laughs> I use my jewellery glue and my pliers to fix a shoe buckle. Perfect. So there you go. Uh, an an another anonymous texter there. So if you do uh, want to shout out and put your name on them, Joe has uh, also texted and say, "Hi, lovely JM folk. I've made some cool light pulls from hemp or waxed mm. uh, cotton cord with big gemstones, large gold-plated beads." They're fun presents, love to all. Joe, that's so interesting because we actually brought you some very sizable uh, crystal quartz nuggets the other night and I actually was suggesting that you could use them as light poles. Was it when I was on with you? I think it night? might have been. Yeah, yes, yes. yes, me and Mark did a show on Friday night and we yes. actually made that very suggestion. So yes, that's fantastic. Um, now, we are under a little bit of pressure this morning, I have to tell you, because we've got so many goodies to fit into the show that we are going to have to up the pace. We're going to turn this into one of Ed's late shows for a little bit. That's what we're going to do. Here we go. Have a look at this. Over 250 carats of lapis lazuli. Now, this is a very, very popular gemstone. And I think it's because it has a very traditional feel to it. Actually, another thing that we talked about on Friday night, Martin, you were talking about the use of lapis lazuli. Because you like this gemstone, don't you? I love it. I think it's beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. It's, it's just that, that whole pyrite thing going on, isn't it? It yes. just works perfectly. And that, I think that's, I have got this little bit of a theory. It is based on genuine historic right. sort of use of the gemstone. But my theory is that the reason that the use of the sort of royal blue and the golden tones is so prominent in jewellery and fashion design is thanks to this gemstone. So I always think it harks back to ancient Egyptian yeah, style right. designs. And of course, they were inspired by this gemstone. So that's just a theory. I don't know if that's true or not. But Mother Nature doesn't get it wrong very often. We do use this combination quite a lot to create very traditional looking jewellery designs that they tend to pack a punch as well, don't they? Because of that gorgeous <laughs> sort of, uh, royal blue tone. But of course, Mother Nature had already come up with it in the form of lapis lazuli. She beats us to everything, doesn't she? And um, yes, as Mark says there, these beautiful inclusions that you find inside the gemstone. Again, one of the few gemstones that is prized for its inclusions, of course. Now, these are iron um, inclusions or pyrite inclusions. Pyrite does have very high iron content. That's where it takes its color tone from. And you can see these, uh, this gorgeous sort of uh, golden banding on the surface of a gemstone. And the other brilliant thing about lapis lazuli is it works in any sort of guise. So whether you've got the very organic cuts or whether you've got these highly checkerboard faceted designs, you know it's gonna work in your design. These are very sizable. They range in size from 15 by 12 to 30 by 18 in total. So probably all large enough to be used as pendants or certainly the focal point of a design. 250 carats. Now this comes from our Gems of Distinction range. I'm sure when you're looking at that traditional faceting on the surface of a gemstone, you can see just how high end they are. Now anytime you see a strand from this elite range of gemstones, you can be confident that this is some of the highest quality we can source for you in this gemstone family. Beautiful lapis lazuli, and here comes your price point this morning. 34.95 for 250 carats of lapis lazuli, a gemstone that, as I say, has uh, been not only utilized, but revered for thousands of years, often by uh, some of these sort of uh, most interesting civilizations for me when you think about the ancient Egyptians and the ancient Romans and the way that they actually I suppose were a little bit ahead of their time in terms of appreciating the inherent value of jewelry if you like and of course nowadays we know those kind of uh, those kind of items can be passed down from generation to generation can't they here Beautiful lapis lazuli, very, very large carat weight on each and every gemstone. I'm going to do a quick count actually for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 on the actual strand. And so you could think of that as around about 20 carats on average on each and every gemstone. So very, very sizable. And of course, that means you're adding value into your designs. Often your customer base might be trying to judge your designs based on quite a traditional gemstone criteria. They might not necessarily understand the work and the time that's gone into your design. So when you're offering them a huge lapis lazuli pendant like this, not only is it going to be recognizable, but they're going to understand the value in the piece. $34.95 for a huge collection of lapis lazuli. I'm going to leave that to one side because Tanya, as I said, I said, I said Tanya was a regular <laughs> contributor and she's texted back to say, I'll turn it to use. Um, gave a pair of tapered flat pliers to my friend in the WI to adjust her hearing aid. Jewelry Maker Tools rock for detailed work. That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> That's fantastic. And we've also got a text from Mandy. And Mandy says, hi guys, just received my first stash of gems from JM. First ever order, brand new customer. Love it. And can't wait to get making wonderful pieces with them, fab prices and quality from Mandy. Ah, oh, Mandy. I'm so glad you're now part of the community. Um, OK, we're going to move on because we want to get in as many deals as we can this morning. Oh, now I think that Mark's going to be uh, very oh, enthused about this bundle. We've got quite a healthy stock level, although as ever, when we're launching a brand new item here on the morning show, I think 
it's important to get involved early. Now, we may have seen these items previously as part of bundles that we have put together for our designer inspiration show, but I'm not sure whether it's been available as an individual item previously. Maybe it has, but I haven't seen it. And um, I have to say, the thing I love about this collection is the colour tones. These colours that you see here, despite the fact it's called rainbow cord, I normally think of rainbow cord as being really, really violent. These are gemstone colour tones for me. This is sort of your gemstone palette, if you like. You've got those feminine tones, so your rose quartz, then you've got your ruby red, your amethyst purple, your kyanite blue, then you've got that sort of turquoise tone, actually two different turquoise tones, maybe a kyanite blue there, then you've got your lapis lazuli blue, and then you've got your neutrals, your black, your brown, and your white. So you just can't go wrong here. Have a look at this huge collection, and I know that I'm going to get in trouble here for saying this, but I've got to do it because it's inspired by something Mark said to me on Friday Night Show about using the paracords to create <laughs> yeah. pet collars, high-end pet collars. I was thinking exactly the, the same. The second I laid eyes on this, I was thinking, this looks... The reason I think it is because my mum bought her little lap dog a uh, pet collar from Harrods <laughs> for really? his Chris, as his <laughs> Christmas gift. <laughs> and this, this cord here is identical, virtually really? identical to uh, little Todd's. So it's not a diamond okay. encrusted? No, she didn't no. quite go that far, no, okay. although I always say, if, I, uh, if reincarnation exists, I want to come back as one of my mum's dogs. Right. Uh, treated <laughs> my far better than I ever was in that house. <laughs> now here, you've actually got a metre length of each cord. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten metres of this gorgeous velvet leatherette flat cord. It's five millimetres in diameter, one metre length. And um, could you do the traditional braiding techniques with this? Would, it be a, would you be able to get the little um, metal studs to sit appropriately? It would be interesting to try, wouldn't it? I mean, you yeah. could use that as a lazy and so use, the sari, and use yes. the sari cords exactly as we did earlier. Yes as you're working, but make sure that you, you do the stitches around the beads on the inside. I think that's that would look a, amazing. That's a good idea. That's how you would get it to work, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Because you've got this little uh, sort of uh, stud-like beading onto the actual gemstone. I should say, you may be looking at these thinking that they're a base metal, and they are, but gold-plated. So uh, these would probably be fit. Quite yeah, a home absolutely. in Harrods, actually. Yeah. Gold-plated metal beading on your velvet leatherette cord. Now, I have to say, now that we've given you a little bit of inspiration of how you could actually use these alongside those Zari cords, if you did get hold of a kit, mm, you've already perfect. saved yourself £20 this morning. You're only paying one P&P per day. We're going to give you an added to your order price. I hope you're already on the phone lines. I hope nobody's disappointed this morning, but 12.95. Bearing in mind, gold-plated metal beads on each of these gorgeous cords, 10 metres in total. And uh, as I say, generally when I think of the rainbow cords, I think of more of those sort of neon colours, if you like, that you might associate with, well, the jewellery maker branding, for example. Mm. But these, for me, really fit in to the natural colour tones that we find on our most common gemstones. Maybe that's just me, but you see, you see what I'm talking about here? Because you've got more of the earthy colours, the neutrals, but then you've got, well, the royal blues we just saw with the lapis lazuli. You've got those beautiful ruby reds, the amethyst purples, the amazonite greens alongside the turquoise tones there, as well as a sort of kyanite blue as well. So very eclectic colour tones, I would say. And Fiona, thanks for getting involved this morning. Fiona's texting to say, I made six plated bracelets with four of these, oh, six plated bracelets with four of these yesterday, and they're fab. So there you go. So you can just use the, uh, the simple plating techniques to create gorgeous bracelets. And uh, Fiona telling us there that definitely works. 12 95 is your price point, and I just can't believe that we've got the gold-plated metal beads on the surface of those cords. That is fantastic. Of course, we are expecting to see huge increases in the price of gold over the coming years, given that we're not discovering new deposits of this precious metal, and we know any time you're able to advertise your, your um, jewellery as having gold-plated 
findings within it is going to be justifying your price point, but also your customers are going to expect to pay a premium for gold-plated items, so those are going to be really, really useful. Um, okay, once again, get on the phone lines early because we expect this to be a sellout deal. We only have a limited number, and uh, every single person that has walked into our studio this morning has fallen in love with these gemstones. I think you'll know why the second that you see them, they're just so fantastic, aren't they? Very traditional feel from the monochrome effect, that juxtaposition between the jet black and the snow white. But then because you've got the irregularities in the banding, you can see, oh yeah, sorry. We're gonna bring you the, uh, the coins later on. Right now, I'll bring you the rectangular variety. These would be fantastic as, you know when um, we see those designs, that have a very significant carrot weight as a pendant, this would be fantastic as that. If you had the um, little sort of uh, cascading length of chain or maybe another more delicate gemstone hanging from the gemstone itself. So these would be the sort of focal point. They'll draw the eye into the design, but they still allow further embellishments within the design. That's the way I see them. Or, or maybe as the feature gemstone in an asymmetrical design. Or, in fact, maybe uh, as part of a cuff bangle. So you really allow the gemstone to do a lot of your talking. You can see here, no two gemstones are going to be identical. You've got a bespoke finish to each and every gemstone because of that fantastic banding. Black stripe. Um, okay, with your quartz here, so you can see there the crystal formation inside the gemstone. That's actually the quartz forming on the host rock of the agate. So, really interesting gemstone as well. 700 carats in total. I'll do a quick count for you one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. In my experience, these kind of strands tend to be quite uniformed, although there may be some subtle variations based on the carat weights that you receive. Uh, 700 carats in total, so you might get eight. You might get 10, but I think most people are going to get 9, and that means that once again you're able to offer your customers gigantic carrot weights. Roughly 70 carats on each and every gemstone. That is amazing. And it's because of the size of the gemstones. They're 40 by 25 in size, um, and already people flying through on, on the free phone number. Um, if you do enter a short queue, don't panic because it is a free phone number if you're dialing from a landline, and of course you will be answering the order in which you dial. Oh, unfortunately, a lot of people are multi-buying these, so maybe we won't have enough to go around. I was thinking that we had quite a healthy stock level, but actually, mm, probably about a third of our customers are multi-buying this strand so far. So if you do want to get involved, please dial early. Don't forget, here at Jewelry Maker, we understand that there is a creative process within designing your own jewelry, and so we do offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you get these home, and they don't do everything you want them to do in, in your designs, you can send them straight back, but I doubt we're gonna get too many returns on something this fantastic, this beautiful. And again, if you are starting to think about evening wear for the winter period, we know there's gonna be a lot of shindigs come the Christmas period. I don't get invited to any of them, but I know that all of the lovely ladies out there are gonna be invited. This is a winner because you've got that monochrome effect. Do you like these, Mark? Are these oh, something you've been? I, I keep going back to that amazing demo that uh, Laura Binding did with the double ring. Yes. Do you remember that? Yeah, just one of those one. sat across two knuckles. Rectangles, perfect for that, aren't they? Yeah. That's the first thing that came to mind. I think that would be beautiful. And high impact as well. Yes. Oh, that, that one would be good for that, actually, because you've got that yeah. sort of uh, very irregular inclusion inside the gemstone. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And I of course, just, um, the other thing bronze is... Antique bronze wire, I think. Say again, sorry. sorry. Antique bronze wire. Yes, crying we'll out. Look, we'll just look amazing with those, wouldn't they? Because actually, some of the, um, the banding inside the gemstone has a bit of a lighter mm. tone, doesn't it? Almost a sort of cappuccino-like yeah. effect, that brown. So antique bronze mirror that perfectly. It's like I, it's I, like I think, I think Laura Binding likes antique bronze wire. <laughs> I think that, that looks like an internal druzy, doesn't it? But it does, doesn't encased it? in gem, that looks stunning. Yeah, it really does. And actually here, if, if, if you look in this gemstone, you can see that 
I don't know if we'll be able to capture, but there actually is some Druzy beginning there. to form inside that one. It is, you've got a little bit of sparkle inside there. Very, very interesting gemstone. Now, as I say, we only had a regular... I was just thinking this was going to be a sellout deal. We haven't even brought the uh, exclusive <laughs> Premier prize to screen yet. So, hopefully, you heeded my warning and you got on the lines early. Jeannie, you just came through from Lancashire. You're taking two of these. No wonder. 700 carats for £10 Ooh. this morning. That is unbelievable. Now, don't panic if you do miss out on this deal, which I think some people are going to. Don't, never take my word for it, by the way, because there's lots of fluctuations on our system um, on my producer's screen. Speak to a member of our award-winning help team. If there's any available in stock, they will add it to your order. Um, but when I'm speaking to the 30 people that have got this place in your basket, it probably is important to check out now. I wouldn't leave it until 1pm, because by that point, you're going to see a lot of the phone buyers are going to have nabbed your, your allocated strand. Uh, the reason for that is that when you place an item in your basket at jewelrymaker.com, it doesn't actually guarantee you the item. It's more of a signal of intent. It's the first person to check out that will receive the strand. Now, I'd hate for people to miss out because they weren't aware of that. So sorry if it sounds repetitive. I don't want to pressure anybody. I just want you to be aware of the situation. These are flying out the door. We started with treble figures available. We only have double figures left in stock now. We're actually approaching limited availability, and that's probably because the last three phone buys that have come through have multi-bought the strand. So it is proving to be extremely popular this morning. And again, I think it's because of the creative potential there, the monochrome effect, the individuality of each and every gemstone, and of course, how sizable they are. Huge carat weights there. Uh, I'm going to have to leave that on with you. Don't worry, the coins coming up in that gemstone a little bit later on. We're going to move on, and we're going to bring you a double trouble deal. Now, again, we've already touched upon the use of this colour tone a little bit earlier in the show. These are your grey quartz, but I always think it's quite interesting with this gemstone because the way the dyeing process works it actually creates slight variations in the saturation of colour within the quartz. And so on some gemstones, you get more of a sort of silver metallic shimmer. This is all thanks to the way it's been faceted, of course. On others, you get more of a depth to the colour tone. So I think that almost looks a little more dramatic. Always think of it as uh, resembling a storm cloud kind of grey. So it does add that sort of uh, that theatre, that drama to your designs. Great way p potentially to soften up a design. Maybe if you intended to create a monochrome look, but it looks a little imposing, if you like, using the greys instead of the blacks might work to tone that, that down. In fact, it might go quite well alongside those gorgeous rectangles. You like that one? Absolutely. See how it brings the blues out of the agates? It does instantly as well. Like As soon as you put it yeah. alongside it, that just works so well. In Beautiful. fact, I'll tell you what, in some of your macrame designs, these faceted grey quartz would just look phenomenal. Well, you could use one of those, one of the agates, as a central watch face, and then have the quartz Beautiful. going around the side. That would look, look stunning, wouldn't amazing, it? Amazing, yeah. Quite gem heavy then as well. Or so. just, just rosary link with some um, copper wire. I think it would be incredible, but be beautiful. Yeah, actually, something interesting about yeah. this, this colour tone here, because it's a little softer in its hue, even though they're 8mm rounds, they look really delicate, don't they? Really got an aquamarine tone to it as well. Yeah, there's definitely a blue hue coming through, That's isn't stunning. there? That's stunning. That's amazing. I, I'm <laughs> wow. a bit mesmerised by this strand because it's literally ticking every single box. And of course, we've created a double deal. So normally you get 160 carats, but we've bundled these together. This is our, uh, our probably my, our most effective way of providing you with a wholesale opportunity. Of course, we're always going to provide you with the best value on the market, but when we start to bundle the items together to provide you with wholesale deals, you know that the prices cannot be beaten for the quality we're bringing you. And I love the way this has been faceted. Kind of, um, almost as though the Lapidus has created a, a slightly softer edge to each and every facet, and it's allowing it to sparkle, but creating a very delicate effect. I'll tell you what, this is the gemstone that I think I would match up with it, but regular viewers will know I'm a little bit girly when it comes to <laughs> the gemstones I like. Look at that. The frosted rose quartz and the grey quartz together. Winning, as they say. Definitely. Winning.
<laughs> Look at that, that's fantastic. So we've got this frosted rose quartz coming up later in the show. And uh, again, perfect for elegant evening wear or for gents jewellery as well. I think you could easily incorporate these into some of Mark's macrame style bracelets and uh, you'd be on to a winner there. Normally 160 carats in one strand. Today, 320 carats. Is that... Mark, uh, oh look, look at that God. over there. No, I'm not going to be able to distract him from the price point. We've just the uh, both. Yeah, a double deal. I'm a even I'm shocked, Mark. I can't believe what Kim's just done. Half the stock's already gone. I'm sure nobody's surprised, especially because it is very, very busy this morning. You saw our first kit sell out, <laughs> probably in record time, actually. And um, yeah, that is a genuine addict to your order price, isn't it? I mean, there's nothing that you can't do with these gemstones because of course you've got the traditional eight millimeter round which most people rely on for a lot of their uh, their designs then you've got the faceted finish you've got a fantastic combination of colors across the strand if you like ranging from the blues the sky blues to the silvers and then into the if I didn't know that was quartz I would have said that was a blue moonstone if there was such a thing do you it, agree? It, it does almost have yeah. a sort of adjurescence to it, isn't it? The way that, I think it's just the way it's been faceted, like I said, it's that the light plays on the surface so brilliantly. Beautiful. It's, it is a real sparkle that you get from the gemstone, isn't it? Now, the only drawback to creating a double deal like this is that we do half our stock levels, of course. So it does make it a little bit limited in availability, and it looks to me like that is going to be another sellout deal. In fact, if everybody who's placed this in their basket was to check out right now, it would be a sellout. So we're going to move on. We don't want to disappoint anyone. Ooh, another limited edition item here. So this has been launched previously on one of our late shows. Of course, every day between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m., we try to find added to your order prices so that you can maximize on your 1 p.m.p. per day. And uh, this was an exclusive launch for the late show recently but unfortunately they've left us with fewer than 50 in stock so uh, again i expect this to be a sellout deal gorgeous variety of black rutile quartz also known as black tourmalated quartz and um, the only reason i make reference to that is there seems to be some debate within the industry about the use of the phrase rutile they want to um, retain it for the golden variety and uh, it's, not, it's not incorrect, they are rutilations, but it's just an interesting debate that's going on within the industry. So uh, some factions believing that this should be known as black tourmalated quartz. The reason for that is that we know these inclusions are formed from tourmaline itself, of course, a very prestigious gemstone in its own right, but I love rutile or tourmalated mm. quartz. The reason for that is that I am actually, as somebody who has a, has a passion for gemstones and gemology, somebody who does appreciate the imperfections within a gemstone I think the inclusions are actually what provides a gemstone with its character and it shows your customers why this is the real deal why this has been created by mother nature and uh, 75 carats in one gemstone for 9.95 that e I know it's been faceted I know it's crying out to be used as a pendant but I have to say I would probably just add that to my gemstone collection. That's something just I would want to keep. I always think, oh! Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. The phone's just started ringing in the gallery. Now either that's the management phoning down to ask him what on earth she's doing or it's my mum phoning to invite Kim to Christmas dinner because she just managed to render me speechless for about 60 <laughs> seconds there. I can't believe that. I should just say sometimes we act a little bit shocked and some people are probably a little bit cynical. If you've never watched the show before, um, you might be thinking, well, you must know all the prices beforehand. You want to see how many products there are down here. Have a look at all of this. And if anybody who was here this morning can verify this, I actually woke it up 
uh, sorry, <laughs> I actually walked in and I was still asleep despite having cycled here. There's no way I could have memorized all these prices. I genuinely didn't know this was going to be going down to 695. Good point, Claire. I am a great sport to have stepped in at short notice to do the morning show. Good point. <laughs> That's why I wasn't aware. Nothing to do with being very, very tired this morning. <laughs> I can't believe that. We said we'd be bringing you clearance prices, but even I'm shocked at that one. I've got to leave it there because it looks like it is going to be a sellout deal. We're trying to find add it to your order prices because we know the popularity of our previous kits this morning. And uh, we've got another incredible new kit for you right now. Now, the kits that we bring you here at Jewelry Maker are really the concept against which the entire channel was launched. And the idea was that we could provide you with everything you'd need to get started with the hobby of jewelry making. And of course, as we've started to expand, because we know that so many of you have been with us and gone along our sort of journey over the last four years, you're experienced jewelry makers now, but you still need to replenish your stocks on a regular basis. And so the kits now have a little bit more focus on them in terms of what the experienced jewelry maker will need to add to their collection as well. So I think we're trying to cover no. both bases now. Yeah, that's good. And um, this, again, perfect for the autumn period. That's I know that. I know there's some jewelry makers who prefer to um, design in more of a, a free-flowing case and just whatever takes their fancy, but some people do have quite strict seasonal collections, don't they? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Oh. These, are, I've got to get my hand on <laughs> so I want to, I want to know what they feel like. These, these beautiful wooden beads here. Gorgeous, very lightweight, but still very amazing, elegant, amazing color, beautiful color. Perfect often match, the um, often the wood does feel quite sort of earthy. Even just looking at it, you're thinking of a, an organic design. But this nice sits alongside style. the gemstone perfectly, perfectly doesn't everything. it? Everything, absolutely everything. I love this design. Sorry, I just got distracted there by your design. Uh, <laughs> so these are the wooden beads here, and um, I really want to know what kind of wood this is. Sorry to be a pain. I'm just going to try and work out what variety of wood this is because we've got a few different varieties. Can't find it right now. I'll find it in a second for you. These are eight millimeter rounds. They're gorgeous. That beautiful grain on the wood almost <laughs> resembles the banding that we find on some gemstones. Then we've got your faceted sunstone. Gorgeous femininity, but again, you get those variations in the colour tones. So perfect again for autumn because you've got golden hues. Actually, look at that one. That would go alongside your grey quartz perfectly, wouldn't it? Then we've got your cultured pearls here, and these are hmm, a little swirl of colour going on here. From some angles, you've got a sort of chocolate brown. From others, you've got an antique bronze or a golden tone and then from others you're always getting a green tone yeah they well. are definitely mixed colors on that one strand fantastic again i suppose that provides you with a little uh, a little more scope i suppose yeah that's right absolutely yeah. because you've actually put the pearls alongside the green s long cord and drawing out the, the yeah, dark green it's tones. worked really well i'm really pleased it's fantastic that is i should just say don't panic, this isn't something Mark's added in. We're also going to provide you with a huge amount of S-Long cord in this kit. So you can see there you've got this gorgeous effect from the cord itself. I'll show you the colour tones that we're going to be. If you have a look over here. You've got the tangerine tone, this sort of uh, burgundy or red wine colour. Then you've got the, uh, the beige the sort of peridot green maybe and the white tone there as well now the s long cord you actually get 70 meters on each reel mm. that's amazing i love s -long. they look so they look so dainty but 70 yeah, meters no, that's amazing cord. a huge amount now i was watching the birthday show in may when i think we might have brought the s long cord yeah. to the screen for the first ever time and while 
Sarah and Lucy were talking about it, it sold out. Mm. And they were talking about the strength of the cord. Is that the real yeah. draw for it's, it's, it's the strength and, and it keeps its shape as well. So for, for threading and beading and knotting, all that sort of thing, it, it's, just, it's just perfect. And for, for micro macrame, some of the work that Deb has been producing yes. recently has just been amazing. And that's using Eslon. It's just the best. I, I was think, so pleased to have it in the kit. I think this is one of the, um, one of the really impressive things that we've achieved here at Jewelry Maker, mm. certainly something I've noticed, is that we have been able to take some of these more traditional disciplines that might have been maybe more associated with handmade craft work rather than you know, homemade jewellery yes, design. No, 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 I agree. And we've elevated that into the next level, like macrame with wire, mm. for example, and the That's kind right. of uh, finish that you create with the Eston cord really does no, bring stunning. those designs onto the next level, doesn't it? You see how fine it is on this, on this particular bracelet here. I mean, this, this is micro macrame. I mean, it's just oh, stunning. Just it's looks exquisite as well. With those yeah, wooden with wood. beads as well. Again, you yeah. might associate that more traditionally with very affordable mm. jewellery design, but actually this has much more gravitas attached to it, if you yeah. like, as be well. Be because of the colours of the Esalon and the wooden beads, there's a couple of pieces aimed at gents in here. And then a coat, and then a few at ladies. So it's so it's quite a, a, a mix. Yeah, kit, absolutely. Like, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. I, th I think another reason for that is the use of the rose gold plated yeah. findings because they tend to be quite mm. versatile, don't they? Those no, colour tones. Right. The rose gold, of course, can be used in a variety of different ways. You can use it to add warmth to a design. You can use it to add femininity to a design or of course to create a, a vintage look mm. as well. So it does tend to be quite versatile. You get 118 pieces part of this final kit, a meter of chain, three different kinds of head pins, including the very fine ones. And uh, you've also got your fancy earring findings as well as your traditional shepherd hooks. You've got those gorgeous slider clasps there, which actually uh, have a floral like feel to them. So again, adding into your design, adding character and depth to your design. I think sometimes when you're putting together your pieces of jewellery, certainly as whole suite, it's about creating layers of, of design, mm. isn't it? And so yes, if you do have right. a, a floral motif in one piece and then you've got that floral clasp, it, it just sort of brings a bit of cohesion to, mm. to the right. set, if you like. Right. So everything you could possibly want in terms of a findings pack. Normally, if you were to buy all of this individual, it costs you 44 and I haven't even mentioned that you also get this what I would describe as a sort of mint green or spear, now, spear mint. There's a story stone. behind this chain. Okay. It, it, it was in the corner of the bag. Right. And, and, and I finished and I found it. I see, so it is quite fine, isn't it? It is. So I, all I've managed to make are the, all the beads I had left with the wooden beads there, and I've just incorporated them in some, some slalom earrings. I think that might have been another happy accident, yeah. actually, because they've worked <laughs> out brilliantly. Yeah, amazing. Because that's all you had left, that's right. it's actually. They're yeah. a match made in heaven. Uh, Gemma did an amazing designer inspiration incorporating this chain yesterday afternoon. If ah, anyone goes on that. Facebook to see her work, it's just amazing. Oh, yes, I, I'm going to go yeah, have a look beautiful. at that at 1pm. Yeah, fantastic. So there you go. Um, this is actually called Autumn Sun, and you can see why we did touch about, uh, you know, the use of these colour tones. If you are putting together seasonal jewellery, and uh, you can see here exactly why you've got those very uh, feminine colour tones but you've also got the golden tone from the pearls themselves, so absolutely incredible. Normally 44.90 for the entire kit. Oh, 44.95, sorry. <laughs> um, oh. But this morning we have permission to launch this at 27.95. Are you actually ousting yourself as going below what you've been given permission for? Brilliant, good work producer Kim. What a maverick. <laughs> There you go. We said that the idea behind our kits was to help you get started with the hobby, and so we've just handed you back the equivalent of your PMP. Yeah, so uh, normally just two ninety five for a twenty four hour period goes from uh, midnight to midnight. Just if it, in case anybody was wondering. So we've just handed you back your PMP. If you're already investing in this kit, and bearing in mind you've got. 350 metres of Eslon cord as well. <laughs> and we just saved you another £20. Oh. Pounds. So on the previous kit we saved you £20 pounds, and oh, on this yes. kit we've saved you £20. Pounds. So if you're investing in both kits this morning, and I can see why you would, we've effectively just put £40 pounds back in your pocket. If you were to buy all these items individually, this would cost you £44.95. We were intending to launch this at £27.95, but 
producer Kim, determined to provide you with the best value on the market, and she's handed you back your PMP as well, down to twenty four ninety five. So, um, wow. which of your designs shall we have a look at? Well, Mark? I'm going to show a little tiny section of this bracelet here, okay. which is the the button loop, oh. which we've got. I hold that up against the It's a great way to there. finish off these bracelets. Absolutely, as well. yeah. and, um, and it's actually past the bracelet, so it's no no extra cords attached. Now, um, I'm going to use hemp because it, because the Esalon is quite fine to show a demo with. So I'm going to use hemp. Right. So you've but done it with the Esalon yep. in the design, yep. but absolutely, for but it's exactly, exactly the same. Got yeah. So what I've got on my macrame board here is three pieces of the. This is the one mil hemp. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach at the bottom only two of them. Okay, so we're keeping the third one separate and the same at the top. So we'll just take one out. So we've got the two left. And what you would do, you see, you would, you would take lengths of six for S long, you would fold it in half, attach it to your board, then make the button loop, and then those remaining parts of the cord would then make the rest of your bracelet. Okay, I've got you. So, so you don't actually have to make any extra sections. Okay, so we just get that section here. Okay, this so is one this, of the this things is things I love about these braiding techniques. Actually, the fact that they do all flow from one end to the other. Yeah, they do. You, no, you absolutely, like absolutely. Sorry. So we've got our section. What we're going to do? We're going to do last head knots, but on the vertical rather than on the horizontal. The green lime green necklace there. I've used lark's heads, but horizontally along the necklace section. I love and this. this this is just to show you the, the vertical section. This is the design vertical. that distracted me when I was supposed <laughs> to be talking about the gemstones. <laughs> it's just gorgeous, isn't it? You and it doesn't weigh anything. It's complete apart from the weight of the pearls. It's it's absolutely weightless. It's just yeah, it's so elegant. And you, this is what I'm talking about when we're using the threading materials, but to create mm. evening wear effectively. That's right. That's so right. it's just amazing. Yeah, love it. Okay, so. We've got our two sections left down the centre and our single section. So, first part of the lark's head is we go over the top. So, so we're going to start a macrame square knot. Okay, we take the cord back underneath and we pull up through. Okay, and if you do, if you stop about halfway along, because as I said, this will then become your 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 loop, which okay. it will make sense in a second. Okay, the second half we go we do again. We do the left-hand side, but this time we go underneath and we pull through. Okay, I'll do that again just to show you. And this is now your, your lark's head knot. If you can see on the board there, that's the lark's head. Okay, so we go over and under and pull to the top. And on the second part of the knot, we go under and over. Okay, so over and under. I'll do this a few more times and I'll show you how we actually form the button. And then under and over through the loop. So over and through and under and through. So if you remember that over and under technique, I'll do this a few more times just to make a, a loop and I'll show you how we form the loop. Actually, Angela sent in a, an interesting question mm -hmm. at this junction. It, it is a good, it's a good one. Yes. Um, she says, Mark, what size do you normally make gents bracelets? So I'm guessing what length okay. is obviously we have bigger wrists. Okay, well, um, normally for, for ladies it's, it's seven mm -hmm. and for a gents it's eight and a half. Okay. That's the basic. Uh, yeah. Quite a generic guideline. I think yeah, that's yeah. what you see on the high street, for yeah, example. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, good question. If you've got anything that you want to uh, ask Mark or me, <laughs> you can text in to 60777. Start your text with JM Studio. And of course, we're also asking you for your alternative uses for jewellery making components this morning. We've already had some uh, top tips. God, that looks so uniformed. What's that? That your, your weave there, we've just gone to a close up. <laughs> this is one of the things I love about it. You always get that almost perfect yeah. finish, don't you? Yeah, fantastic. Okay, I'll just do two more, and then we'll have enough then to show you. I mean, obviously, when you when it comes to making your your button loop, you need to make sure that the bead you're going to use will go through the loop. Otherwise, it'll be completely pointless. 
Okay, so that might be enough. So what you do then is you, you've, you've, you've made your loop. You un... I keep... I must get out of the habit of saying unattach. The word is detach. Detach. Okay. Uh, yeah. So then what you do then is you gather your chords. You're beating yourself up this morning about your I grammar, know, right? I know, I know, it's <laughs> awful. And then what you do is you just bring it round, like so. Okay, obviously this would be a bit bigger. You do the loop a lot larger, okay? I just get a couple of pins. And if you've got the, 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 the T pins or some map pin, stationary pins, just pin it to the board, like so. Okay, and then you would attach the two that you didn't use right at the beginning, and then you would do a series of macrame knots. Ah, so straight right forward. So I'll just do a couple and then I'll turn the board around. So one, two. Four. And then you would just then start to do your, your macrame bracelet. So if I just take the pins out, you'll be able to see the... Um, shall I hold that up? Bring it up. Oh, he's got, she's got she's a new got camera it. to play Perfect. with this morning, you see. So I said, they, so at the other end, you'll have, a, you'll have a bead, but make sure that the bead will go through the little knot. And it just makes a really nice, neat... Uh, if I bring the bracelet across that I've, that I've made, you see I've, I've made the loop on the end here yes. and then that then has incorporated all the cords to then make the bracelet and at the other end I've used the cords and threaded on three of each to then pop through my little bead at the end and then you can have it any length you like then and so actually that yeah like you're saying as well it yeah. gives you that's right. the option uh, if, if you have right. got a larger wrist yeah, yeah, yeah so if you didn't have any of the S class with the with the little um, lobster claws or anything yes. like that, or you didn't have um, little toggles, this is another way of making a really nice start to your macrame Fantastic pieces. Fantastic as well, yeah, and as I say, it does give a sort of all, uh, yeah. a well-flowing design That's right, design yeah, as well. no, it's perfect. Yeah. It's a really nice little technique. Fantastic, well, this, another kit that is flying out the door. If you want to get involved, you know what to do. You can get involved in all the usual ways, either dial the free phone number or click to find out jewelrymaker.com. Uh, we're going to head back over here for another launch. Thank you so Hi, much sir. once again for your incredible demonstration, Mark. And uh, hopefully everybody is uh, not only having fun, but feeling inspired this morning as well. And we're going to bring you another uh, threading material. This is 60 metres of your satin cord, but it comes on your little bobbins. So, perfect for your kumahimo, because the weight of the bobbins, of course, allows the threads to fall accurately, so that the, uh, it actually makes the technique a little bit easier to achieve, in fact. And the colours here are, again, spectacular. They go alongside a lot of the gemstones that you're going to work with, but they do, on this occasion, offer you that slightly more vibrant shade, shall we say, because you've got your sort of emerald green, your aquamarine blue, your ruby red, your amethyst purple, it's beautiful navy blue tone, which again could be great for gentlemen's jewellery, and then for your contemporary looks, how about this? I think it's probably described as rainbow satin cord, it is, but I'll describe it as neon rainbow satin cord, because it definitely has a, a bit of a a bit of colour bang going on it's a in there. A retro contemporary, if there is such a thing. Yeah, well, you know what? Um, I saw everybody getting really excited during the 80s show. Oh, yes. It's very 80s, actually, isn't it? Neon. The colour tones yeah. here, aren't they? Yeah, fantastic. So, 60 metres, 10 metres on each bobbin in your satin cords, your navy blue, your amethyst purple, your ruby red, your aquamarine blue, your emerald green, and your uh, neon rainbow tones there as well. 60 metres in total, but unfortunately we only have double figures of availability. So you are going to have to be on the phone lines very, very quickly if you want to add this to your order. And I've already got people flying through at jewelrymaker.com. Phone buyers, you need to be dialing that free phone number. Well done, Duncan, you've got two. Brenda, you've got two already on the phone lines. That's the way to do it. The second you come through, multi-buy this item to avoid disappointment. And we're going to give you a rather impressive jewellery making price. We've been providing you with add it to your order prices all morning, and this is no exception. £10. 
<laughs> Might as well have a sip of my coffee while the call centre deal with the queue we've just created on the phone lines. Roughly um, 30 seconds, so nothing to worry about. And of course, it's a free phone number. You will be answering the order in which you dial. If you're only missed your basket, my advice would be check out now because a lot of the phone buyers are multi buying when they're coming through, and at that price point, you can understand why. I have been doing a little bit of research into threading materials, and I recently discovered that in the independent craft shops, so not the big ones <laughs> that cover uh, hobbies and crafting, but rather the independent ones, of course, they have a completely different model. They don't have the kind of buying power that we have here at the Genuine Gemstone Company. But you know, if you run out of something and you're working to a deadline, for example, and you do maybe rush into your independent craft store, you can be paying over a pound per metre. Here you're getting 60 metres for 10 pounds. So very, very impressive. I think we uh, tried to do a bit of research online to see, or oh, wonder if we can get it lower online, just to give us an idea of how competitive we were. And the lowest price point that my producer and I could find was about 70p per metre. And uh, as I say here, what are we looking at? About 25p a metre, if that. So really, really impressive value, but unfortunately, we're already down to limited availability. That's how quickly you have to act this morning if you want to add these to your order. And uh, we have had another text. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, yes, ah, good point. Right, so sorry, my producer was saying maybe somebody has an alternative use for the bobbins themselves. If so, text in. We're asking you to give us ideas of the alternative uses for different jewellery making components this morning. The text number is 60777 and you can start your message with JM Studio to ensure it comes through to us. And uh, yes, maybe somebody uses the bobbins for something interesting that we haven't thought of. Mrs Lee, another regular contributor, has texted in to say, I hung a few strands of JM wooden beads on a kitten's climbing <laughs> tower. She bats them around all the time. Oh, there's only two or three over the horse's stable doors. It keeps them from uh, getting bored playing with them. Great show chats from Mrs. Lee and Kent. So uh, yeah, that's really good idea actually. So that's a, a few different animal references this yes. morning, isn't there? <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, time now to head over to Amelia on the hub. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the second edition of The Hub. This is your part of the show where you um, contact us and let us know what you would like to see in the forthcoming shows and also share with us your wonderful creations on the Wall of Fame. So here is our third entry for today, number 228. And this is Denise Borkhurst. And she says, hi everyone, here is my entry for this week's draw. It is made from a bracelet kit with labradorite and silver plated findings, plus some labradorite gems from my stash, all from JM, and that's love from Denise in East Sussex. They're absolutely beautiful. I love the bezel cut, um, sorry, the bezel set uh, labradorite pieces. They have uh, such a beautiful, um, lovely shimmer to them. And if you can see on the bottom stone there, we've got some lovely blues coming through there. So, uh, there we go. So don't think the camera is quite picking up, but I bet that they were even more beautiful when you had them home. So thank you, Denise. So uh, to our fourth entrant for today, it's number 229. And this is from Leslie in Burnley. So hi all to all the JM crew. Here's my latest entry. It's a memory wire necklace and earring set using coffee agate rounds and carved smoky quartz roses. The memory wire was easy to work with, easier than I thought she added. And I've used memory wire before, but not to this quality. Oh, thank you, Leslie. That's a lovely compliment there. And Leslie is um, emailing in from Burnley. Wonderful. Lovely. So we've actually got some workshops, some new workshops, shall I add, that are coming up in the forthcoming months. So the first one I have to offer you is going to take place on the 7th of November, and that is weaving with our lovely Laura Binding. 
after that we have oh mark you didn't tell me you were the new mark um the workshop coming up and that one's on the 12th of november sure a few days after and that is wire macrame so wire macrame with mark and uh, then on the third new workshop we've got to offer you all is on the 15th of november and that is friendly plastic christmas designs oh no she said the c word the christmas designs with liz welsh I haven't seen Liz in a while actually. It'd be lovely to catch up with her on that I workshop. Love Liz Welsh. Lovely. She's one of my favourite people. She is, isn't she? She's so happy. She's so smiling. Happy. She makes me smile because she she's always smiling. Such a friendly lady. Uh, I'll tell you something else that made me smile this morning. The second I walked in the door, these beautiful clear oh. quartz shards. That's the only way they can be described. And you can understand why when you see the way they've been faceted. Oh, they're gorgeous. Beautifully elongated. Again, I think evening wear in mind with this particular channel. It's my oh. presenter pick this morning. It's coming up at around about 12 p.m. So not long to wait now, less than an hour. And uh, we're just going to do a quick break. So we'll let you know about some of our workshops and we'll be back in two minutes. So don't move a muscle. Do yes. you make jewelry as a hobby? Would you like to learn key skills to help you successfully market and sell your handmade jewelry? We are working with Angela Edwards, who is an experienced jewellery maker as well as a small business trainer to bring you the perfect course to help develop basic business skills. The full course includes how to create a business plan to successfully sell your products, how to access current and potential customers, how to identify and profile your target market, how to generate leads to secure current and future sales, how to use online social networking to your advantage and key knowledge on legal requirements and insurances. For information about dates and to reserve your place, please contact 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Join jewellery maker and guest designer Mark Smith for our long-awaited macrame workshop. Get to know the essential techniques and knotting formations to create these vastly popular designs. Learn square stitch, twist stitch, slip knot and much more. The full course includes a range of different threading materials, a selection of gemstones, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our gemstone museum. All of this for just $79.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Thank you to all of our customers who voted for Jewellery Maker to be nominated at the Make and Sell Jewellery Awards. We've been nominated for eight awards. Please continue to vote for us to win by going to the Make and Sell Jewelry Awards website and registering your vote. Voting closes on the 27th of November. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. 
it couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. My name's Ed, and very, very exciting coming up as our presenter pick at midday, so less than an hour to go now before we launch these gorgeous examples of clear quartz. Perfect for so many different jewelry making genres, a must have for a lot of jewelry makers out there and it's coming up in less than an hour so don't miss out on that deal if you're not on the phone lines quickly again expect to miss out like a lot of our deals this morning and of course if you missed out on any of our deals and they're still displaying on our website you can still add them to your order now we are going to move on because we're bringing you my birthstone beautiful moonstone it's the birthstone for june if uh, anybody is new to the world of jewellery making, but I do think it's one of those gemstones which probably works all year round, not just in birthstone jewellery. And it's because, once again, it possesses this optical phenomenon within the gemstone. It's known as agilorescence. And interestingly, on white moonstone, it's very subtle, almost a, a sort of silver shimmer on the surface of the gemstone. It's fantastic on these because they're bezel set and we saw those didn't we um, in the wall of fame design. wow there you go you got to see the edge of essence brilliantly there um, I will just say I don't know whether this is a sort of typo or a human error or a drop down menu um, but it happens every now and then it is a misclassification um, in fact so I'll just deal with that right now they're described as hearts on the screen but they're not they're, they're your pear drops or your tear drops. You'd want that little indentation for a heart, wouldn't you? Um, these are bezel set gemstones. So again, adding value to your designs. 925 sterling silver setting here. And I think when you've got gemstones which are this prestigious and have been revered for as long as Moonstone has, you can understand why you would set it into sterling silver checkerboard faceting on the surface of the gemstones so again you can see that uh, we've tried to enhance mother nature's hard work by actually creating this gorgeous faceting very traditional finish to the gemstones themselves now I I've just noticed that we're not really getting across the edge of the resonance when this is in my hand it's because of our studio lighting it's quite a subtle optical effect that you get from your white moonstone. It's a little bit difficult to show you in the studio because we've got so many light sources bouncing off the surface of the gemstone, but we did see it quite clearly on the recording. This is the exact same strand, but in a different lighting environment. We can have a look at that in one second, and we'll show you that when we, when we actually recorded the strand in different lighting sources, you were definitely able to see that adjurations. Here it comes, and you can see the way the fasting allows that to move across the surface of the gemstone. Very subtle, very elegant, and of course, if it's set into sterling silver, you know you're on to a winner. And this is, as I say, a gemstone that's been revered for thousands of years, and uh, originally discovered by the ancient Romans, who actually believed these were shards of moonlight. And uh, that's where it takes its name from, because uh, the ancient Romans believed these were placed here by the lunar gods and so they named it Moonstone. So we still call it that today, of course, and despite the fact that we now understand the science behind why we have this adjurescence, I think it's uh, almost more romantic to think of it as uh, being shards of moonlight inside the crystal. 95 sterling silver bezel settings and it's still just 27.95. Amazing. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven individual gemstones here. I mean, Mark, if you're working with, with bezel set gemstones, do you tend to be a little bit more sparing? I mean, would you have, only have one of these in the design, or would you? Well, I'd probably do a, a set, so I'd have a pendant and matching earrings. earrings I think of that's course. definitely best value for money, I think. So how many did you say you had on there? We've got seven. Seven, yeah, so yeah, two so, sets. So two and sets then and a pendant. Maybe yeah. keep one for yourself. <laughs> do you think how you'd incorporate them into cufflinks? Just trying to think how you would would it be possible with the drill hole at the top does that make uh, it a little yeah, bit you'd difficult you'd have to do some sort of mount wouldn't you yeah that would be the answer wouldn't it yeah. could you create that using wire perhaps couldn't you absolutely i mean this this is this is a, one of our designers michelle 
with her bezel set rings and, and um, that she does. Yes. I mean, these would be absolutely yes, perfect. Yes, they'd work brilliantly in yeah. those kind of designs, wouldn't they? I'm going to have to leave that one with you, I'm afraid. It is flying out the door. We've got a lot to fit in this morning, and we're going to move on to the grey moonstone variety. So this is, unfortunately, a last of stock deal. So once again, you've got the faceted drops Similar, similar shapes, but larger sizes to the, to the previous strand. They range from 16 by 5 up to 32 by 6 mil in size. And uh, here, you've got a slightly deeper colour tone. So a slightly richer saturation, maybe the silvers and the storm cloud greys, as we described earlier. In fact, these would go alongside those uh, grey quartz fantastically well. Again, very subtle adjurescence from your moonstone, but you've actually got over 280 carats on this strand alone. And again, perfect for creating those matching sets where you've got that uh, sort of statement pendant alongside the matching droplet style earrings. Look at the size of that, that is magnificent, isn't it? I was just thinking maybe alongside these uh, gray quartz. Very, very beautiful and the faceting Fantastic on both examples there. These having a similar effect to a checkerboard facet because of the number of facets, but they've got those triangular shapes. So again, allows the light to be dispersed in quite a unique way on each gemstone, which basically gives you lots and lots of sparkle. Everyone's a magpie at heart, aren't they? 280 carats in total. Again, another example of June's birthstone, beautiful moonstone and currently available on our website for $29.95. When you think about the carat weight, when you think about the quality of the gemstones and the way they've been faceted, that's already an absolute steal of a deal. But we're not gonna stay there this morning. We're gonna give you an exclusive clearance price, only available until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, of course. And you do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Whoa! What is she like this morning? I'm referring to my producer, of course, Kimberly, who is uh, in charge of all the prices and the products that we're seeing this morning. And she just put £10 back in your pocket. That's amazing. If you do want to get involved with this deal, you do have to act pretty quickly. We are on a last of stock opportunity, I'm afraid. And we've just put £10 back in your pocket. I mean, if you got hold of the first two kits on this strand, you've saved £50 this morning already by investing in our wholesale and clearance deals. This is our job here at Jewelry Maker, to make genuine gemstones as accessible as possible. And I have to say, once again, those could work in uh, masculine designs because of the color tone. The faceting, of course, does lend itself to luxurious um, sort of evening wear, I think. Uh, I'm being told to inform everyone to dial early if they want to get hold of cultured pearls because we only have double figures of availability remaining on this particular strand of pearls and this is very in keeping with a lot of the sort of colour schemes that we've looked at this morning the monochrome looks, the silvers, the stone greys but I mean again you could easily combine these with your frosted rose quartz to create a very feminine look there quite elegant so again the world's your oyster I am such a card. Yes, it is a yes, it is a good job I amuse myself. <sighs> Seven by ten millimeters in size. So you've got this beautiful elongation, which I think again might add in to the kind of looks you can create. Can you macrame with, with your pearls? The only issue you that you might drill, have is you be, can use beading thread as your lazy strand. Oh, as long as, as long as you can get beading thread for your lazy, then you can use any okay. material as you right. like for the outside. So I'm just imagining that, that turquoise and silver Ooh, sari yes. thread we had in the first kit yes. with those pearls. Fantastic. That look incredible. Brilliant. Beautiful. Especially for the winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well, because again, I don't know why I'm so <laughs> in tune with my seasonal colour schemes, but I, I just feel that, you know, as we do enter into that period, I think it's more applicable in the colder months than it is in the summer. In the summer, you do, people feel a bit freer to wear whatever they want, but when you're starting to wrap up a bit warmer, you do tend That's to be a correct. little more limited. Yes. Oh, really? 
okay, I'm being told something very exciting and it might explain why half the stock's already been allocated on jewelrymaker.com. This isn't the usual price people would pay for pearls, apparently. Brenda's just taken four strands, Leslie's taken three, Maureen's taken two, Tanya, mm -hmm. our contributor this morning, has taken two. Lots of people multi-buying this strand. I think you better put me out of my misery. <gasps> Cultured pearls for six ninety-five, And, of course, you've got <laughs> the silver colour tone here, so a very traditional feel for elegant jewellery. And of course, pearls have a natural association with elegant evening wear, but also bridal jewellery. Maybe a uh, mother of the bride wear silver pearls because I hear that turquoise is the colour for this season for mothers of the bride. Really? Uh, yes, and silver. We've already said silver and turquoise. Yeah, well, I didn't know you that. See. I've been reading my bridal magazine in the office, man. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm such a fashionista these days, aren't I? Mark remembers me when I was one of the managers of the channel running around in like a headless bottoms. chicken. My tracksuit. Oh, when yeah. I came in at the weekend, I would always be uh, in my tracksuit. You know, you're trying to make the bacon sarnies for the kids and then something goes awry here and you've got to jump in your car and come mm. and sort it out. Not anymore. I get to have all the fun by bringing you genuine gemstones that are this prestigious, like a pearl, for six ninety-five. Unbelievable. Looks like that's going to be another sellout deal, I'm afraid. Hopefully you were on the phone lines early. I tried to warn you all, and uh, we've got another text. It's come in. It says, just switched on to a fantastic double trouble deal, Ed and Mark. What <laughs> more can a girl ask for? Nothing. <laughs> Can't think of a more hunky combination on morning TV, actually. Uh, Karen's also texted to say, I make holes around the edge of an empty reel of beading wire and use it to oh. put the earrings on it. Allows Inspired. you to check they hang straight. Inspired. That is, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think that's the most useful tip we've had this morning because every single jewelry maker can use that now. That's genius, isn't it? You can it? spray paint them colours and have them on your display yeah, in your craft uh, yeah. fair. You yeah. could just create... In fact, if you put them on uh, a dowling rod, you yeah. could spin them round. Spin them round. Presentation solutions now as well, not just crafting <laughs> solutions. I like it. OK, the pearls are now a sellout deal, I'm afraid. So congratulations if you did come through early. Um, I believe that is inclusive of the people with it in their basket. So, uh, Check out now to avoid disappointment. We're moving on. Oh, yes. Okay, right. Okay, so I saw your picture on Facebook, actually, producer Kim. So Kim was uh, teasing everybody by showing them some of her bundles. And uh, this, apparently, had more requests than any other bundle. We know why. Because, uh, was it two weeks ago that I was on the hub? Time flies when you're having fun at Jewelry Maker, doesn't it? Two weeks since I was on the on the morning show last. And um, purple was voted as your favourite colour. We've already discussed maybe some of the reasons why. Tends to go along with a lot of different genres of jewellery making. Works with a lot of different outfits. That's what a lot of the female guest designers tell me. Purple just seems to uh, be a winner for a lot of people when they're putting together their ensembles, shall I say. And uh, look at these, because you're not just getting a solid purple tone here, you've got a fantastic combination, thanks to the banding. So this is your banded agate here, and you've got it in three different sizes. Love these faceted varieties. These are your 8mm faceted agates. 165 carats in total. Then you've got the slightly larger size, the 10 mil, which gives you 255 carats of your purple coloured quartz, sorry, on that strand, but very, very almost identical banding there and variations of colour from the lavenders to the regal purples, but also you've got the whites and the earthy tones in that banding as well, so lots of versatility. And then this strand, for me, is almost a design concept all on its own because you've got 300 carats of your purple agate here, but it's graduated on the strand, and it's quite a quite fantastic graduation. Really, it ranges from six mil up to sixteen millimeters. So if you were just 
simply re-strand that, that in itself is a netless design, isn't it? I mean, if you take the last two beads off, or if you manage to undo the knot and use one of the, the lobster claw with the clamps, yes. that's it, done. Absolutely, because then you've got the little gemstone on the end of your extender mm. chain, isn't it? Perfect. I've only, I've only talked about the gemstones so far, and I know the gemstones are going to be popular. Um, I think, actually, when I first started on Jewelry Maker, I was a little bit guilty of, of undervaluing just how versatile the banded agates were. Because I came from a traditional gemstone background, I was always thinking about the big four, or the gemstones which hold this huge prestige, but actually as a bespoke jewellery designer, you want something individual. You don't want the sort of run of the mill, if you like. The, I know that sounds silly when you're talking about diamonds and rubies, if you like, but you, know, you don't necessarily want a perfectly cut, perfect clarity on a gemstone, because sometimes you want those little bits of, of character, those, that individuality, and that's what the banded agate offers you. Actually, I think it might have been Mark that made me realise just how useful the banded agates were. I remember in the summer we had a strand mm. and you just no, couldn't love, get over how amazing it was, and it sold out in about 10 seconds. So <laughs> then I started to realise how useful banded agate really well, was. I'm, especially with our banded agate, is the fact that it is dyed. I don't think you'd see all, the, all of those lines and banding if you didn't add some sort of colour to it. And, Absolutely. Uh, and we've got them in blues and greens and fuchsia pinks, but I think purple is, is definitely the It's best. fantastic, isn't Most, it? Yeah, it's stunning. I mean, you could be forgiven for mistaking this for amethyst, but actually, this is offering you a lot well, more than right. any amethyst yeah, yeah. ever would that's in terms point. of the banding. Good point. Yeah. Um, now, we also have put in a lot of the threading materials. This is flying out the door, and it's probably because Kim's put the word clearance behind me. Actually, I say that. Tom's put the word clearance behind me. Is it Tom? There we go. Um, so you've got your, um, your suede deck cord. You've got two versions of your satin cord, again, mirroring the more traditional colours that you find in your amethyst or your purple agate, of course. So that's your, uh, your reels of satin cord and leatherette cord. Then we've got some of this wax plaited cord here in your lavender tone. Then you've got the traditional amethyst satin cord and the uh, lavender wax cord. If you were to buy all of these items individually, and we know that everybody loves to stock up on their purple tones, it would set you back, sorry, £28, or the best part of £28, £27.80 something, something like that. So yeah. Let's just round it off just for ease. Well, let's say over 27 pounds. That's better, isn't it? So it would normally cost you over 27 pounds. What? You wouldn't normally get the three strands of gemstones for that, surely? Okay, when we say clearance, we mean clearance. That's nearly a half price deal. It's like 40% off, just to be accurate. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, there's a huge queue on the phone lines, I'm being told, um, over a minute already. 90 seconds. One minute, 45 seconds. Sorry, it's going up because there's so many people flying through at jewelrymaker.com uh, and on the free phone number. Don't panic if you do enter a short queue. You will be answered in the order in which you dial. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you that you're successful. If you are shopping at jewelrymaker.com, don't forget, placing the item in your basket doesn't guarantee that you're going to get hold of one of these bundles. Please check out, because as I say, we have got a huge queue on the phone lines. We only have a limited number available on this. Of course, the more items we place inside a bundle, the lower the price point we can create. And so it becomes a genuine wholesale deal. In fact, I've just had it confirmed to me that the gemstones alone would normally cost you more than this entire bundle. The three strands of gemstones would normally cost you uh, $16.85. This morning you get the three gemstones, all of this cord as well, for just $14.95. For me, I know that it might be a, a little bit more of a consideration when I say this, but even at that price, for everything you get here, that's a kind of add it to your order price. That's a way of maximising on your one p and p per day. The only reason I say that is because of the creative scope behind all of these gemstones. I mean, actually, because you get so much character from each gemstone, you can be pretty sparing with them. And of course, if you are to restrand the graduated banded agate and add a clasp, 
you'd probably make profit off just that strand alone, wouldn't you? That'd be a £20 necklace. Yeah, those little silver spacers we had for my challenge, just, just swap the knots yes. for one of those. I think that would really lift Silver it. and purple, as amazing, again, that it? classic Beautiful. combination. That is a fantastic idea. So if you got hold of the challenge, and we will recap it later in the show, the little silver spacer beads, you've got 195 of them as part of that deal. Use them just to break up the graduation between the gemstones. That's what Mark suggested. And of course, you get that classic combination between the purple and the silver. 1495, a clearance deal, the most requested bundle of the morning, I'm being told. So we'll have to leave that one with you because it's flying out the door and we have got a queue. If you are on the phone line, stay where you are. Somebody will be with you shortly. And uh, we're just going to give you a quick recap of our early bird this morning. It did prove to be very, very popular, but we still have some stock remaining. You know, um, some people may have been, uh, I don't know, walking the dog, doing the school run. You might have commitments first thing. If you missed out on the early bird special, don't panic. We still have some remaining in stock. And uh, since we launched this, we've actually almost provided you with, I don't know, five or six perfect accents for these gorgeous cabochons. Now you get 980 carats. This will come to you in a variety of shapes and sizes. The one that we counted, which is this sample, had 14 individual cabochons. You might get, you know, 16, 17, you might get 12. But of course, if you get fewer, you get much larger carat weights. If you get more, slightly smaller carat weights, but more cabochons to play with. So you can't go wrong, really. And uh, this is your dendritic agate. If you do want to get involved with this deal, I have to warn you, when we launched it at about five past nine, we instantly lit up the phone line. So we only have a limited availability remaining in stock. If you want to add it to your order, please dial quickly. I hate the idea of disappointing people this morning, but we're at the mercy of Mother Nature. She's only ever going to create so much dendritic agate. And of course, yeah, <laughs> my director said, unfortunately, we can't put an order in with her. <laughs> I'd love that direct line. Yeah, can you just knock us up some dendritic agate? Um, and of course, that's not the end of it. Once we've actually sourced this fantastic form of agate, we then have to sort of ship it to the other side of the world to our cutting facility. And this has actually been polished beautifully. Now, talking about this in the week, Cabochon polishing is one of the first techniques a lapidurist will learn and privileged here at the Genuine Gemstone Company to be very good friends with Glenn Lira, one of the most revered lapidurists in the world and get to speak to Glenn on a regular basis whenever he comes to visit the owner of the company, Steve, they're, they're, they're best mates and um, yes, if ever you wanted to uh, feel passionate about gemstones, walk into a room with Glenn Lira and Steve Bennett and you'll soon start hearing chemical compositions and <laughs> everything you want to hear about gemstones. Can't help to feel impassioned about it when you're around people that are this knowledgeable and of course they're very passionate themselves. And Glenn was saying to me he could teach me how to, to uh, actually polish a gemstone into a cabochon shape in five weeks but in order to master the technique of cabochon polishing it would take me over five years because each and every gemstone would have a different slight variation in the way you'd have to polish it to create a cabochon. Some lapidurists actually spend their whole lives purely polishing cabochons because they're just skilled at it. They just have a natural gift for understanding the sort of uh, the, the cleavage of a gemstone so that it can be polished into this dome-like shape which is very very traditional. And uh, of course, we gave you an exclusive launch price this morning of just $24.95. I can't guarantee that we're going to be able to honour this launch price. So it could be that at 9am tomorrow, if we've got any of these remaining in stock, which I doubt, but if we do have some in stock, they could be available at a larger price. So this is going to be your best opportunity to get involved. And of course, um, a large percentage of the stock's already been allocated because this was launched at around about 9am this morning. Perfect for elegant evening wear and for masculine designs here because you've got that storm, storm cloud grey tone, that pebble grey tone on others, the charcoal shade, so those variations combined with those plant-like inclusions create something very, very organic but very high-end because of the, uh, the cut and the carrot weight. We're going to have to move on because we've got so much to fit in. We did try to say we'd be uh, moving a little bit quickly through some of these deals. 
I launched the rectangular version of this earlier in the show and it's probably the fastest selling strand of the morning and given the treats we've brought you that is saying something and uh, actually maybe you'd like to work with these together we're talking about using these in a sort of a two-fingered ring if you like one of those double ring settings that Laura Binding occasionally creates but I was thinking how about cocktail style ring just on one finger look at that that's on trend isn't it okay huge number of people already coming through at jewelrymaker.com and actually when you look at the individuality of the gemstones when you think about the creative opportunities you can't go wrong with this can you I mean as a pendant you don't really have to do much work do you this is going to do all the talking for you this is going to become the showcase piece of your design how many of these did you have in stock Kimbo how many did you have in stock sorry I, you cut me out then when you said it. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, treble figures of availability. And uh, it's already flying out the door. In fact, we've gone from having 150 of these in stock to having only double figures of availability in a matter of moments. That goes to show how quickly it's been allocated. It's probably because all the phone buyers are multi-buying this one. So congratulations, Carol, you've got two. Amy, you've got two. Gail, you've got two. I think we'd better get our exclusive launch price on screen before this is a sellout deal. Here it comes, 900 character, your black stripe. Quartz agate, 35 millimeter coins, 10 pounds. As I say, I can't guarantee we'll be able to honor that price at 9 a.m. tomorrow. But uh, hopefully we will, if there's any remaining stock. But actually, looking at the, uh, the phone lines, I don't think there's going to be any left in stock. <laughs> uh, I could be wrong, of course. Maybe somebody will change their mind. Maybe somebody's card won't go through, what have you. I personally wouldn't take the risk of seeing whether there's any in stock tomorrow. Add it to your order right now. Of course, you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. And it's one P&P per day. So especially if you've already got an order up and running, I would certainly add these to your order for just 9.95. Very, very impressive. Again, I've touched on the idea of using these in maybe a solitaire ring, cocktail style or as a pendant, but how about what Mark was saying earlier about using them as a watch face in, in a cuff style design? Because you've got the round shape, it'd be even more of a sort of traditional look, wouldn't it? What I've seen recently is, um, I mean, I keep trying. I must have a private lesson with Laura, but um, Trees of Life pendants. Mm. And what I've seen recently is probably about six inches round, and then they use one of these type of stone as the moon, and then they, they um, embellish the tree with the gemstones around the moon. Ah, and some I of haven't them seen that. That sounds fantastic. If you, put, if, you, if you could put in Tree of Life moon in brackets, and you'll I, see I some will, of these. Some, they're yeah. exquisite, and these would just be stunning. They look like little planets with, in behind your tree. Well, the thing I love, I love about the, the tree of life is that it is inspired by mother nature and then you bring yeah, it in a whole yeah, another I mean, element they look incredible absolutely that's incredible a great idea i haven't seen those i'm going to have a yeah, little bit of a amazing a bit of a dig around on facebook when mm. i come off off air at 1 p.m of course um the deals continue from one when we bring you our designer inspiration show who's on this afternoon is it frankie there you go so uh yeah coming up at 1 p.m uh, a little bit more designer inspiration, although I have to say, Mark's already been uh, providing us with plenty of inspiration this morning. Quick recap of the rectangular version of the black stripe and quartz agate. Um, if that seems a little bit convoluted, you don't quite understand what's going on there. Basically, agate is a host rock for a number of different gemstones and often you'll find quartz crystals forming within the agate that's why we start to get um, druzy for example so when you find those little uh, crystal formations taking place that's exactly what you've got here trapped inside your agate slabs and so it's a really interesting gemstone from that point of view and of course often when you are selling your designs in a sort of regional craft fair for example it's actually important to build a little bit of rapport with your customers people won't always 
have uh, maybe uh, attended a craft fair with the intention of actually buying something. It might just be, you know, a bit of a day out, or they might have even just been dragged along by someone else. You never know. And so, if you can engage with your customers by talking about gemstones and really highlighting your passion for what you do, I think it will help you to actually achieve greater sales. Do you find that, Mark? Yeah, no, no, no. I like that. And you find that you get you get repeat visits as well. And, and when they leave, they ask, oh, when are you going to be here next? I'll bring somebody else. Or, oh, I've got someone's birthday a couple of months' time. When are you back in? And I'll look right. at what you've got. So well, that's it, isn't it? That's yeah. the way that small businesses do tend to develop, right. just through word of mouth and from repeat business. We did honour the price for the 700 carats as well. 9.95 on the rectangles there, the banded variety. And if you uh, do want to add the coins to your order, there are still some limited availability uh, left in stock and the details of which are at the bottom of your screen. So both these strands launched this morning but already down to limited availability and uh, just 9 95 for both of those this morning. As I say, if you invested in the first kit that we brought you, then uh, we brought you a £20 saving this morning. So maybe you'd like to take advantage of that and get hold of both of those strands. That's just one idea. Um, don't forget, we are asking you to interact with us this morning and give us a few top tips. We're looking for your alternative uses for jewellery making components. So we've seen a few fantastic varieties already, maybe using the um, leftover reels from your threading materials to display or present your earrings, um, using the monofilament to keep the heron away from your pond, that kind of thing. Um, and if you want to get involved, then text in 60777 is the number. You start your, phrase, uh, your message with the phrase JM Studio. And uh, what was your alternative use again, Mark? You came it was the Organza the bag. Ah, yes, the Organza bag. As an algae the deterrent. The, yes, there you go. <laughs> but we had a, quite a lot of garden folks on. My original one was using the uh, copper head pins as little plantage on my canes. I couldn't find anything else. So there you go. <laughs> Lots of uh, alternative uses. We are going to go straight over to Mark actually once again because we've got another kit for you. How many, sorry? <sighs> Definitely haven't got enough to go round, I'm afraid. Two of these strands, I can't believe we're in a kit. There we go. That's, well, I'm let me guess put, I'm which it one it could be, which the first could be. We've already we've got another five strand kit oh, here. Okay. Yep. And we've got one of the big four, from what I can see. Two, I think. Well, yeah, one of the big four, but there's another one that's really Very special. impressive. Actually, there's three <laughs> strands, four, yeah. five strands that are really <laughs> impressive. Now, the last one was called, the last kit was called Autumn Sun. This looks like Autumn oh, Sun to me. Am I being really silly and not understanding no, the I didn't reference? Well, it's something flower, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't know what hon means. Hon flower. Oh, it's a place. It's a place oh. in France, apparently. Oh, okay. It's a location Honfle. rather than a phrase or, oh, that's or nice. terminology. That's quite good. Ooh. Okay. We'll let, we'll let you off then. <laughs> um, another very, very eclectic kit because we provided you with extra threading materials, which of course will help your gemstones to go further. And we've given you five strands of gemstones anyway. The first of which, <laughs> <laughs> this is quite interesting actually, because again, this is something that you might engage with your customers about. I think traditionally when people think of rubies, they're gonna think of that sort of cherry red clarity. But actually you do get alternative varieties. And uh, here, we've got a very interesting tone here. 80 carats of ruby, but these, are your organic nuggets this opaque version of the gemstone but with this frosted finish so again quite almost mm. subdued helping to tone down your designs and then you're thinking yeah but what about if i want a little bit of opulence alongside my ruby well how <laughs> about this stick with the organic feel from the shapes and the sizes look at that that is bright it looks like <laughs> amazing when you put gold leaf Yes. In a, in yes. a dessert. You know That's that right. really Have bright you done that? content. Yes. Have you? Yes. On a really? chocolate fondant with a little bit of gold. You make chocolate it. fondant. Yeah. I don't know why Dewey people have so many Dewey so many problems on MasterChef with chocolate fondants. Mine always oh, okay. come out gooey in the middle. Wow. And 
there's a few different ver variations on a chocolate fondant where it doesn't even have to be. So just call it that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can wow. do a chocolate fondant, but there are plenty of things in the kitchen I do mess up. But I always wonder. I bet you're a souffle out. man. I bet you're good at souffle, aren't you? I've only ever made souffles twice in my life. One, but they did kind of work. I have to say. Oh, good. Yeah, but I'm quite, good. I'm quite in tune with the kitchen. <laughs> I went in the kitchen when I was a youngster. My mum taught me to cook when I was little. So I do like being in the kitchen. I suppose it's a lot like jewellery making for a lot of people. Mm. I find it really therapeutic. No, absolutely. When absolutely. people talk to me about cooking and finding it a chore, I just can't relate to that at all. I'm never happier than when I'm in the kitchen. So that's just me. Each to their own, I suppose. If it's something you don't like, stick to jewellery making. That would be my message. <laughs> um, have a look at this combination because actually all the gemstones together just work. So perfect. Yellow opal. In a kit. Yeah, that's amazing. Yellow opal. A very rare variety of the gemstone. Not something we're going to be able to bring you every day here at Jewelry Maker, despite the fact that we're one of the biggest precious gemstone buyers in the world as part of the Genuine Gemstone Company. Still quite a rare find to bring a yellow opal, especially as part of a wholesale bundle. You probably expect that to be, you know, sort of a hero mm. strand being sold individually, but actually. We've put it as part of one of our kits. Perfect alongside the red tiger's eye because the shapes mirror one another. They give you that organic finish, but again, that high polished finish on the surface of a gemstone. So you can't go wrong there because it helps to bring the chatoyancy out on the gemstone. This gold coated pyrite is just exquisite because not only does it give you the traditional color tone people are looking for in pyrite, but of course, with a little bit extra. It's very, very bright. It's basically what I would describe as 18 karat gold pyrite. <laughs> it no, like, really right. does look like it's got that traditional gold leaf on top of it. Absolutely gorgeous. Then you've got rubies, which in itself is a little bit ridiculous to provide you with rubies in a kit. But I love the fact that we're giving you these alternative varieties. Again, that could become a bit of a talking point with your customers if you're selling your designs. And then we've got the irregular nuggets of golden tiger's eye as well so that helps to tie it all in together again doesn't it because you've got the chatoyancy that you find in the red tiger's eye the reds and the golds absolutely working perfectly together here and uh, as they well should because um i can give you my little fact about rubies now that i've shared with you on the past uh, on the show but basically if you look at a traditional color wheel the colour tones you're looking for between a, a ruby are, are the reds and the purples and the only colour in between those on a traditional colour wheel is blue and to neutralise blue you use yellows or golden tones so quite appropriate to put the reds That's and the good. golds together. I like that. <laughs> oh, see how told you I'm in, in tune with this. Um, oh right okay wow I just heard the saving in my ear so I, I'm going to have to get through everything quickly because they're being allocated very quickly. Your traditional threading materials as ever beading thread and that looks like a sort of antique gold mm. beading thread there again perfect for the gemstones and then you get your monofilament and your elastic as well but have a look at this look at those. these have quite a sort of multicultural feel to me yeah you can see sort of a uh, maybe sort of um indian inspired jewelry designs being used for these the I love that. Aren't they? fantastic so you've got or oh, maybe people are just starting to think about the festive period because they're going to be perfect for those designs aren't they you got your festive green you've got uh, that looks like it's red on your screen but it's actually um sort of copper or orange tone mm. and then you've got the golden tone in the middle there um just to be clear how many how long are the reels four hundred meters Gosh. on each Oh, across the three. Actually, I'm yeah. sorry. I've had this. I've had this before. Um, I know why. Um, it's because you get so much threading material on it that they do it by weight, oh, and yes, then they work right. out the yes, the, the right. length afterwards. Yeah. So it works out at 400 meters. Because the last time I was saying, oh, that can't be right because it works out at like 133.33 recurring. Yes. Yeah. But I was <laughs> but I was wrong. It is 400 meters because it's done by weight. Right. So yeah, that's just because you get so much. Now this is your uh, your sari thread, isn't it? So it has that glittery effect as well. So perfect for enhancing certain designs, maybe for the party season. And you also get your traditional findings pack in the form of your bronze plated copper. Again, 
very in keeping with the colour tones within the actual kit because it does, for me, feel quite autumnal. It seems seasonal. Very, yes, yes. And uh, yeah, the, the findings fit in perfectly, and you'll see that in some of Mark's designs just shortly. So, um, a metre of chain, and you can see there just how perfect the antique bronze sits alongside the red tiger's eye, the golden coated pyrite as well. That's gorgeous design, that is. That's the kind of thing you'd expect to see in a boutique mm. than a craft fair for me. I just love your designs, Mark. Um, as I say, you do get your traditional findings. Um, you get your head pins, your toggle clasps, your fancy earring findings, your ribbon cord endings, your crimp beads, your crimp bead covers. Oh, you've also got your little spacer beads in here as well. That's very, very useful. And I will say, one of the things I love about the chain here, it's not a very, it's not a traditional sort of fine detailed chain. It's actually adding a bit of character mm. to your designs. Nice. It's almost nice. like a, more of an industrial look to the chain, yeah, if you like. Nice. But scaled down for jewellery. It's it a very tough chain actually, it's really nice. Normally if you were to buy all these items individually, cost you uh, £44.10. That's already a bargain That's good. for <laughs> ruby and yellow opal. Two strands of tiger's eye as well as that pyrite which I've never seen before. I'm, I'm describing it as 18 karat gold pyrite. Uh, just to be clear, it's not oh. gold-plated or anything, that's just a coating on the, on the surface. But of course, that's the look people are traditionally looking for from their pyrite. Because it is uh, known as fool's gold. And you'll see that despite the fact that we've slightly enhanced the golden tone on it, you'll see the fact that it is uh, very natural in terms of the way the crystal actually forms. As you can see exactly how it forms fantastic uh, if you do want to get involved with this kit again you have to act quickly we've actually been selling our kits out all morning long but this one is a limited edition kit we only have 50 in stock so I think of our first kit this morning that was 34.95 we had over 100 in stock and it sold out within about five or ten minutes this one we've got less than half the stock available and it's just 24.95 I mean Normally, you pay £44, so once again, we've just put £20 that, back. The necklace your... that I've used, the sari thread and the tiger's eye, that, yes. that, that's crochet, that would be £40 on my stall. Really? Mm. The, I mean, it's hours of work going into that with of the course. crocheting and then um, plaiting and threading, and there's a lot of work, plus all the so gemstones you can as make, well. So yeah. you can make a £15 profit on the entire exactly. kit off just one design. I mean, I realise, like you're saying, mm. you've put, had to put four yes. or five hours yeah. work into creating it, but, you know, when you sell that £40, and you achieve <laughs> a profit it's of one. It's going to be absolutely unique. No one in the world is going to have that exact necklace. No, nope, absolutely. That's what I love about working with gems. Even if you emulated that design mm. to the letter, you're never going to have the exact same shape of gemstones no, no, either because you've used no. both the organic cuts of tiger's And the um, little sari thread works so well when making rings as well. I mean, ah, it's, no, it's I'm, exquisite. And because I'm it's always, slightly stretchy as well, it, you know, it, it's really good for... I'm always a little bit um, perturbed as to why we don't show more ring designs actually because mm. only because my experience when I've attended craft fairs rings tend to be one of the biggest sellers they on do. people's no, stores that's right. so that's right. um, yeah it's definitely something to consider if you are thinking about attending craft fairs over the winter period and of course if you're working with your sari thread not only do you get this very contemporary feel to them but you can make them quite affordable because you've yeah, got 400 absolutely. meters of the stuff that's right that's when you probably used about I don't know two-thirds of a meter per <laughs> ring <laughs> amazing Probably think mm. that you could have quite a, a large right. selection of rings yeah. of that. You can it's see how somebody yeah. would be drawn to that instantly. Organic feel almost looks like a, you know, sort of like golden nugget, the kind of thing you'd yeah. have seen on a cartoon, very traditional. Look, it's absolutely gorgeous. So, which of your designs should we have a look well, at? Well, I'm going to show the earrings because I, I, they're so simple so and gorgeous. I just think they're lovely the way they. The, um, the with the stars, like I know that. we keep. I keep making reference to them when we get in trouble. But I mean, for your Christmas party, I know they're perfect, <laughs> aren't they? I mean, yeah. they are your Christmas party yeah. earrings right there. Can't believe this is just twenty four ninety five. Uh, Mark's going to show us how to create this gorgeous design right now. So where do we start, Mark? Okay, first of all, for each earring, you need five of the headpins with the little stars on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing we have to do with each one is take your pliers and just flatten the star against the bar okay and then go to one end and all we're going to do is just make an ordinary eye pin loop at the end of each and this these are just so we can attach them to our earrings so that's the fourth one and we'll do the same with the fifth 
So all we do is we're just bending the star so it sits nice and flat. Ah, right. uh, just to be clear, if, if, if you're worried, these star-shaped headpins do come as part of the findings pack in this kit. So if you are new to us and you weren't aware of that, um, yes. Okay. Get these, these detailed head pins as part of our findings pack. So the next thing we do is we take one of our head pins. Now you'll probably find that half of the strand of pyrite will take the ordinary head pins. I the see. other half, the smaller ones, will take the fine, the, 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 the feather weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the little ball off the end and we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to make a loop at the bottom, like so, and then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the same with the other end. So in effect, we're making a rosary link with a little pyrite inside. Just fold that over. And this is just going to be the middle component. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to take a jump ring, like so, and we're going to pop on, first of all, the five head pins. It doesn't matter which, which way they face, because we want a bit of, a bit of movement. Three, four, five, and then we're going to pop on our little pyrite. And we're going to close up the loop, like so, so they're nice and secure. Okay. Then the other end, we're going to pop our second jump ring through the loop of the pyrite, and then through our shepherd's hook. So that, in effect, is the earring made. Like so. OK, so that's, yeah. which looks quite nice as it is. But we, need, we, need to, we need to get the movement. So all I've done is I've gone into my toolbox and I found a, a crochet needle. OK. OK. You and all we're going to, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I mean, you, yeah. Could use, you could use your round nose pliers. All right. So all I'm going to do is hold the top nice and firm on the top. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist all five of the stars around, take them off, and give them a little jiggle, and then you have your, your earring. Simple as that. Fantastic. And because, so you, and because you've twisted them all together, they're, 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 they're keeping uniform. Absolutely. They're really cute. Fantastic. Yeah, I love them. I can't and see Because uh, we've got hearts and we've got flowers, and so if anyone's got these sort of head pins in their stash as well, mm -hmm. they can do that same technique yeah, with absolutely. any of those head pins as well. Yeah, and so you're letting actually the finding almost absolutely. be the feature right. of the yes, gemstone. Yes, so, so there's just one gemstone. You could, if you wanted to, just have the, the head pins as the earring, no gemstones absolutely, at all. Absolutely, yeah. So, no, That's nice the little, beauty of nice uh, actually creating your own jewellery designs, because then That's you right. decide yes. what the focal point is, rather than having That's it decided right. for you, if you like. Absolutely. Um, if everyone was to uh, check out their basket right now, this would be another sellout, I'm afraid. Very, Gosh. very popular kits this morning. And uh, Beautiful. were you... Were you um, in cahoots with our products. I wasn't, I was, on, I was on holiday. Oh really? Yeah. So these so were just sent to yeah. you, just yeah. Pip, three little treats? Yeah. Pip organised all of these for me, so no, they're oh, really wow. good, really pleased with them. Doff of the cap yes. to Pip then. <laughs> um, fantastic kits this morning, Pip. And uh, we're having a few questions about your rings actually, a lot of people enjoying this okay. design. Just to see how it's been finished, and that's just a couple of crimp beads. Yeah, so I threaded, I threaded on the bead or, or spacer beads on a piece of the, the sari thread. Mm -hmm. I've done square macrame, I've done um, 15 knots one side, 15 knots the other side of the beads, and then I've taken the, um, the, the working cords, I've knotted just once, and then I've threaded the, t the, the lazy strands through crimp beads in opposite directions as though you were doing a ladder weave, mm -hmm. pull tight so it concertine is up, and then I've clamped down on the crimp beads there. And, and the beauty of that is, yeah. like you said, it almost has quite, a little bit of give. Yeah, it's got a bit of give as well, so it'll, it'll fit your fingers. It. Yeah. Fantastic. OK, looks like that's going to be another sellout kit, so congratulations if you did get involved early. Thank you again Pleasure. for your wonderful Pleasure. demonstration, Mark. Great idea there of using the head pins as the feature of your design. And I've got another deal for you. Now, we've been bringing you clearance deals all morning. Add it to your order prices. We've also been touching on the idea of creating seasonal jewellery, if you like. We've been thinking about the fact that it is starting to get a little bit colder and we're going to be moving in to the autumn period very, very soon. I always think of it as probably the most inspirational season for design as well because you do get those fantastic sort of uh, colour variations. You know, Mother Nature again seems to deal with it for us with the, the golden tones, the browns, the oranges and... Uh, 
this particular gemstone. I think she had autumn in mind, didn't she? Fantastic golden tigers I hear. Real sort of range of colours here, from your golden shades through to your chocolate browns and even those rich sort of conquer brown shades as well. And here, an organic cut in terms of your nuggets, which you get two strands of, combined with the more uniform shape in your cushion cuts or your squares. But the really interesting thing about the cushion cuts is that they're double drilled. So as we were saying earlier, with our deals, with our bundles, it's all about providing you with the greatest possible price point, the best value on the market, and creative opportunities, creative scope. Because again, you know, we don't want to dictate to you what you do with the gemstones. We're just here to provide you with the means to make your own dreams. That's my favorite new catchphrase. <laughs> the means for your dreams. Yeah, because Aww. on Gems TV, we, we, we used to have a little bit of a, a motto when you're going down to do your show. Say, right, let's go and sell some dreams, you see? Because owning luxury jewellery is often yeah. a bit of a dream buy, isn't it? Yes. So you sell like dreams. But I always say, because they say, are oh, you selling dreams? I say, no. On Jewellery Maker, we sell the means to make your own dreams. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm going to have to bring in the clearance price. Three strand pack of golden tigers I hear. Your double drilled cushion cuts and two strands of your organic nuggets, all for $9.95. How much Don't did we save on that last kit? £20 saving on at all three kits this morning. That would be amazing with that. Well, any of the, the, the last two kits of the autumnal feel. Yes, be amazing. absolutely. Yes. Wow. So you can actually just use half the savings you've made yeah. to make the kit probably go <laughs> twice as far, if not yeah. even further. Three strands of, of tiger's eye here. And of course, you can be quite sparing with your tiger's eye because you get that sort of optical phenomenon, if you like. It's known as chatoyancy. You can see it here on the recording. It's that cat's eye-like effect that you get when the light passes over the surface of a gemstone, that beautiful, almost metallic shimmer. But it's, it's a little bit richer than that on the golden tiger's eye. It's, it's really gorgeous. OK, once again, we've created a little bit of a cue on the phone lines. We're talking about just over a minute but don't panic. We actually do have quite a healthy stock level of this. I can never guarantee everyone will be successful. And of course, I wouldn't take the risk. If you're placing it in your basket, make sure you check out. As soon as you come through on the phone lines, uh, you can add this to your order for just 9.95. And of course, anytime we're able to bring you this kind of carrot weight, three strands of one gemstone, for under £10, you know you're on to a winner. And it's a great way to not only maximise on your one p p per day, but to make your other collections go a little bit further, as Mark was just describing there. If you got hold of that last kit, which 50 people did, you've made a £20 saving, just use £10 of that to invest in this, and you're going to make that kit go so much further. Really, really impressive, both in terms of the carrot weights that you're receiving here and the price point. I'll say one thing about this particular cut. Because you've got the irregularity in the shapes again, it will go alongside the strands we saw in the last kit. But also, a lot of the time, we do get requests where people say they want to get the same gemstone, but in a variety of different sizes and shapes. And here, we've got the very uniform double-drilled cushion cuts and you've got the organic shapes in the nuggets, so you can't go wrong with this. You've got something for every jewellery making scenario, for every look that you want to create, you've got the perfect gemstone there. I'm going to have to uh, leave that on with you, I'm afraid, because we're going to go back over and visit Amelia, who's uh, looking at some of your designs on the hub. <laughs> Hello 
everyone, welcome to the third instalment of The Hub, which is uh, the part of the show where you uh, get to say what you would like to see in the forthcoming weeks and where we can share your beautiful designs on the Wall of Fame. So going, kicking straight off with entry number five is entry 230. And this is from Tracy Tisdale. And she says, hi to all of you. Hope you like this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a bracelet made from baby pink wire gizmo coiled beads linked together with rose quartz beads and finished off with a coiled wire charm and silver clasp all from JM. Inspired by one of my favourite designers, Rachel Norris. Isn't she one of our favourites? Absolutely. And thank you for all your inspiration and lovely products. I have so many ideas and not enough time. Much love to you all, Tracy Tisdale. Thank you very much, Tracy. Absolutely love that um, bracelet there. There we go, and we've got entry 231, and 231 is from Jackie Davis. And she says, hi, all to, uh, at, at JM, apologies there. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a bracelet made of Kumahimo ribbon, carnelian chips from my stash, and carnelian cubes. Australian opal chips and citrine, all from JM. Hope you like it. And that's from Jackie Davis in Worcestershire. Oh, just down the road from us here in Redditch. Wonderful. Right, I've got some JM news for you now, and it's quite exciting. We're going to be launching brand new lace collections in the next two weeks. I know that all of the lace that we've had on recently has been very popular, so it'll be lovely to see all of those designs there. Uh, we have brand new polymer clay coming up, and Debbie Bulford will be on to present that in the next two weeks. And our lovely um, channel manager, Paula, has just ordered some amazing quality tanzanite. <laughs> wow, I can't wait. And that's going to be coming up sometime in October. Now, the shell pearl cabochons have also been ordered Ooh. again. Do you remember those, Ed? Yeah. Yes. They were wonderful, and Lasted they're going to be due in, in October. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I remember that. Can't those. wait to see those. Yeah, they're going to be really popular. Mm. Now, we have got a very exclusive Aww. launch coming up for you in just a couple of minutes' time. This is my presenter pick this morning. These beautiful clear quartz faceted shards. So uh, these elongated varieties, but they have been faceted to perfection to give you a very traditional feel to these gemstones, perfect with uh, some of your high-end looks, perhaps. We're gonna go to a quick break and we'll tell you about some of the uh, new and exciting things we have coming up over the next few weeks here on Jewelry Maker. So don't move a muscle, we'll be back in two minutes with this exclusive launch, don't go away. Tune in this Friday for guest designer Natalia Coleman's last show. Make sure you're watching to help us say goodbye and good luck with her future projects. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are having a web exclusive sale on 95 sterling silver. Head over to our website now and take advantage of up to 75% off. All stock must go, but be quick because if you miss it, you'll miss out. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. This week, Jewelry Maker has an exclusive offer for all our customers. Our pick of the week is a Cord Frenzy bumper pack. Stock up on leather, waxed cotton, nylon, satin, jewel colored, and braided cord. All of this for just $59.95. To get your hands on this limited edition offer, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. commitment here at Jury Maker is to provide you with genuine gemstones. Many places might not be able to do that, but we want to guarantee it. So how do we do it? We go to the laboratories and we get tests. We have our own in-house gemologists that can guarantee that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting.
welcome back to the final hour of the morning show here on Jewelry Maker and very exciting time because it's actually quite a privilege to bring you the presenter pick this morning. Some of the most fantastic clear quartz we've ever brought you here at Jewelry Maker. And the interesting thing about this particular strand is the reason I would actually probably put it up on that pedestal is not necessarily because of Mother Nature's hard work in actually creating the crystal formation. For me, it's all about the lapidrist's work here. It's all about the cut. Now these are really interesting. They graduate in size, but they graduate in the alternate ways. So where you've got a shorter length, you've got a much broader finish. And where you've got greater elongation, greater length on the actual gemstone, these uh, are thinner and more tapered. So, you know, you've got elegant looks throughout the strand, but with slight variations. 190 carats in total, and I have to say, this is gonna be considered an essential for a lot of jewelry makers out there. We started with just 100 strands of clear quartz, so um, we're already down to double figures of availability, I'm afraid, because people are aware of the quality of our clear quartz here at Jewelry Maker, and of course, I think, Traditionally, before Jewelry Maker came along, people were still looking for this kind of uh, feel from a gemstone, because it is quite traditional, isn't it, to offer your customers this gorgeous clarity. And of course, when you do, and something's been faceted to these very exacting standards, it gives you this fantastic play of light and a little bit of sparkle. In fact, the clarity is so perfect on this gemstone, <laughs> struggling to show you the sparkle in the studio lighting. That just goes to show you the actual quality of the gemstone itself. There you go, look, as you move there, because you've got that huge surface area on each faceted edge, you get this fantastic play of light. Almost, uh, almost like you're getting luster from a clear gemstone here. So not something you're gonna see every day, and it's purely due to the way it's been faceted to open up the gallery within the gemstone and that allows this play of light and of course allows you to create a very elegant feel to your designs. As I say, a limited edition strand and for me it's not because we wouldn't have been able to get hold of more clear quartz but just imagine how time consuming it would have been for the lapidus to create these looks. There's nowhere to hide with these gemstones, you have to get it right. And. I think that the reason that over half the stock's already been allocated before we brought the price on screen is that these are probably synonymous with some of the more traditional jewellery making genres. So if you think about your bridal commissions or maybe uh, one of a kind commissions for evening wear, these are going to fit the bill. In fact, if you were to choose some similarly sized gemstones here as earrings, alongside your LBD, you're sorted. Okay, I'm being told that nearly three quarters of the stock's been allocated. We haven't even provided you with our exclusive launch price this morning. Now this particular strand comes from our Gems of Distinction range. That's our elite range of gemstones here at Jewelry Maker and is uh, probably the best possible quality we can source for you. So if you do want to get involved, I don't think these are going to be hanging around after today. In fact, I don't think there'll be any of these left at 1 p.m. today. So please make sure you're on the phone lines early. Never take my word for it. You know, as I say, I don't know what's going to happen. Somebody might change their mind. Somebody might have a problem. Their phone line might go dead. I don't know what's going to happen, but I can tell you that I <laughs> haven't seen this many names on the board since the last premiere launch we did about an hour ago. So if you want to get involved, which was a sellout by the way, so if you want to get involved with this, please be dialing quickly. Just to give you an idea of the graduation, they range in size from 25 by seven to 36 by 11. And as I say, if you want to get involved, you need to be on the phone lines early. I've got a lot of people multi-buying this. Margaret's got two, Anne's got two, Justin's got two, Gillian's got two. New buyer, you've got two as well. If you want to get involved, start dialing right now because here comes your exclusive price point this morning for my presenter pick, 
190 carats of clear quartz for 20 pounds. I mean, if you would, were to take two of these gemstones, considering the carat weights you're offering your customers, I would probably say you need to be setting this into sterling silver personally. That's my personal opinion. Um, well, actually, how about this thinner one, this longer one, as your pendant, just on some sterling silver chain. Probably want it to sit in the way where it will help to uh, extenuate the plunging neckline of an evening dress, perhaps. And then you get the broader gemstones, the slightly short gemstones, as your earrings. I mean, that, as I said, would be what? 25, 30 pounds at least, I would think. I mean, what kind of thing would you try to achieve with these, Matt? Five, as I said, just, just I don't think I'd add anything to it. Just one yes. dangling from a from a meter chain. I think they, they call them naval. Yes. Naval necklace. Yes. And um, my sister loves yes. that look. Yeah. She's always wearing. Just hang them a on. couple in your window. You know. <laughs> we were talking earlier, weren't we, about yeah. ornamental light poles, that kind of thing. I mean, these are quite yeah. sizable, aren't they? Thirty-six by eleven millimeters. Um, okay, as wow. I say, approaching three quarters of the stock has already been allocated. So it looks like this will be a sellout deal this morning. Mark, you're going to we, be um, a buying signal pretty soon, aren't you? No. Why would he done that? <laughs> He's already done it. <laughs> um, no, what I was going to say was, we, we go, I'm not going to say where this is now because, because I'm a bit disappointed, but we go on holiday to the same place every year. Oh, and right. in this place, there's, there's a gem and rock shop, okay? And I spend hours and spend an absolute fortune until this year because their prices have gone through the roof. I don't know what's happened. And something like that, just yep. one white quartz crystal, probably yep. the size of the largest one, maybe a little slightly wider, fourteen yep. pound. For one. For one. Wow. I can tell you what's happened if you like. Go on then. I know why. Um, I only I only know this because the uh, annual Hong Kong Gem Show was held last year. This is the biggest um, gemstone exhibition in the world. You get the biggest suppliers from the very, very top end of jewellery design, you know, right down to independent gemstone suppliers are attending this and um, the Bennetts did attend and Steve sent me an email to tell me that he has never seen increases on the price of gemstones like he oh. saw this year. The largest increases, um, talking about two to three hundred percent right. increases on it. all gemstones especially right. the gemstones that we're a little bit worried about if you think about the likes of tanzanite he was saying he's yeah. never seen prices like this to the point where he you know right. he's worried about whether we'll be able to even stock it of course we've seen that we've got in early on the tanzanite because we've got some coming yeah. up over the next few weeks but you know that, that would explain gems, it then it was yeah. considerable price Jump. And of course, if you think that obviously with our buying power, we're mm. already seeing the effects, or certainly we're expecting to. And then if you think of you scale that down, you extrapolate yeah, it back to an independent owner. Lord they're it. working on pretty tight margins, I guess. So yeah, yeah. even though it's disappointing for us as customers when we see those prices, there is a, a genuine reason, reason why. Yeah. And we've, we actually have experienced it on a number of different gemstones here, haven't we? If you think about Tanzanite, we can no longer buy the rough and cut it ourselves. So that is going to add cost onto the price of um, even the raw materials, even the nuggets, for example, because of course it's going to be difficult for us to purchase those now because they're going to want to cut all tanzanite, yeah. aren't they? Because of course that's where they're going to earn their yeah. commercial uh, little bit on the side. And um, this is the thing with us here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, our, our aim is to cut out as many middlemen as possible to ensure we can provide you with the best deal, trying to get as close to source as possible. On some occasions now we're actually buying the mine to ensure that is the case. <laughs> um, but one thing I will say is that any time you've got the middlemen involved and, you know, certain times it's out of our control, like the cutting of Tanzanite or like the new legislation in the pearl industry, it's gonna slowly affect the prices we can charge. But this morning, we're honoring the prices I always would have expected to be able to provide you with on clear quartz, 190 carats for 19.95. Looks like it's gonna be a sellout deal, but speak to a member of the award-winning help team. We've had another text, it's come through. It says, hi, Ed and Mark, loving the show. Thank you very much. This quartz is great. The shapes are brilliant, and it would be great to get this cut and shape with some other gems. So that's good. Yeah, a little bit of feedback. We'll pass that on to our buying team, and wherever it's possible, we'll try to do that. Of course, we do have our own in-house cutting team, so it might be possible, though it is very time-consuming. And uh, Pamela 
has texted me to say, Ed, please, please put the Rose Quartz deal on as I'm spending too much money, too many deals, but I am loving the show. So Pam, don't panic because the Frosted Rose Quartz is coming up very soon. That was gonna be my presenter pick, but I didn't want to be too obvious because I always no. pick a pink <laughs> gemstone. That's why I went for the clear quartz. I love that rose quartz. Um, we do have a text topic that's still gonna be going right up until 1 p.m. We're looking for, I suppose, top tips or quirky uses for your jewelry making components. So alternative uses for your uh, jewelry making components. And we've had a text that's come in from Fee. It says, hi, Edomar, I use a lot of beading thread, etc., in various school projects, most recently, <laughs> to attach corks to a hat for an Australian costume. So that's a great idea from Fee. If you have got lots and lots of reels of beading thread, it does become your sort of like, it's almost like you're trying to find a problem that you can solve with beading thread. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Anne has texted in from Merseyside uh, to say, hi, Ed and Mark, I've used beading thread to keep plaits in my hair as I'm growing out so it gets uh, bitty. I don't really know what that means, but I'm sure all the ladies do. Uh, and the thread kept the, pla uh, the plaits in all day. Brilliant, because of course, as Mark's shown us on a number of his demonstrations, when you pull those threading materials tight, they do really provide you with a yes. solidity. And of course, if you want to get involved, you have got about 40 minutes left to do so, and the number you need is 6077. Again, start your message with the phrase JM Studio. We are going to move on, and if you are still on the phone lines, stay where you are. Somebody will be with you shortly. If you've got that clear quartz placed in your basket, please check out to avoid disappointment, because they have literally flown out the door at that price point. It is an exclusive launch price this morning. We're going to move on, because we've got a new bundle to bring you. One for Pam now. <laughs> Actually, I think most jewelry makers are gonna be on the phone lines for this one. Love the frosted finish on this rose quartz. Actually, I didn't think rose quartz, the gemstone of true love, could get any more feminine, if I'm honest with you, until you see the frosted varieties. Absolutely exquisite. Very subtle and delicate. Beautiful pastel pinks there. And your perfect rounds in graduated sizes. Perfect. I mean, what more could you ask for from a gemstone bundle? And um, yes, again, could be quite in keeping with seasonal designs. It's got a, um, a real morganite hue to it, hasn't it? Absolutely, I think so it's think? the frosted yeah, finish. It, that's incredible. It, it's because the frosted effect almost makes the slight inclusions look silk-like, yeah. and that's how the morganite inclusions form, isn't it? I totally agree. And that's my, uh, one of my favourite gemstones, yeah. Morganite. Beautifully feminine Marilyn and of course... Like say again, sorry? Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe liked Morganite, says Jenny Cleary, who's just prepping for the Designer Inspiration Show, coming up with Frankie at 1pm. And uh, she's always excitable, isn't she, Jenny? But when she's looking at this, you can understand why she's getting so excited. I wish I... Uh, I wish I could get away with wearing more rose quartz, basically, I was going to say, but I thought I'm going to get a look of disgust from uh, executive <laughs> producer Martha, and I did. <laughs> You're masculine enough to pull it off. That's exactly right, yes. isn't it? I'm masculine yes. enough to pull it off. I have got rose quartz. One of our mm. lovely customers made me some rose quartz cufflinks. I've seen them. Yes, they're, they're gorgeous, aren't they? You can wear them tomorrow. I will. I just washed my pink shirt last <laughs> night. A window into my world there. <laughs> Should we both wear pink tomorrow night? I've yes. got a pink shirt, shall we? Yes. You have to though, I'm not oh, going to turn oh, up on my oh, own with a pink shirt. Happy to. Okay. You know me, Matt. Okay, pink tomorrow then. Pink go. tie as well? Pink tie, okay. It's a pink tie affair. Should we do that? Yeah. Right, we'll do Definitely. that tomorrow night then. Okay. There you go. You're all cordially invited to our oh. pink tie do <laughs> yes. tomorrow night. There you go. Okay, sorry, let's get back to focusing on this three strand pack. I think probably in terms of the gemstone itself, you've got everything you need if you enjoy creating feminine looks because you've got that beautiful pastel tone and you've got the frosted finish. But I think as a benefit to jewelry makers because we have been focusing on creative opportunities this morning, all about the graduation here. 12 mil, 10 mil, and eight mil. And Lisa's text through to say, Pink Panther, no, loving it. 
Yes. Yes, absolutely. And this is the gemstone of true love. When I say that, some people may be thinking, what does that mean? Basically, um, it's some of the like, traditional folklore attached to the gemstone that people felt that this was uh, synonymous with romance and uh, inducing loving feelings. I wouldn't suggest you buy it for that reason, but uh, I know that these kind of ideals are a key consideration for a lot of jewellery makers. A lot of people telling me on Facebook that they're very drawn to certain gemstones because of their potential crystal healing properties, and quartz is thought to be a huge amplifier of different energies within that uh, world of crystal healing. So as I say, I wouldn't actually uh, well, I'm not even allowed to uh, suggest that you buy it for that reason, but if that's something that you hold dear to your heart, if that's something that you believe in, then uh, this could be a real winner for you, I suppose. But as I say, the range in size from 12 to 10 to 8 mil, and that in itself could form a gorgeous design. And uh, I'm going to have to bring the price on screen. They're flying out the door. $14.95. It's absolutely incredible sometimes, the prices we do bring you. As I say, I'm more than well aware of how we're able to do it and it's all thanks to our buying power here at Jewelry Maker being part of the Genuine Gemstone Company that's given us nearly 10 years to build up very long-standing relationships with gemstone suppliers and mine owners all over the world of course when we're dealing directly with the mine owners it allows us to negotiate the most competitive prices on the market and if anybody was lucky enough to have seen the ITV documentary that followed the owner of the company for a year, la uh, it was on last week wasn't it? And uh, you would have seen Steve, the owner of the company, on a, on a bona fide gemstone hunting mission where he was visiting different mines to try and discover, well he was trying to discover Tanzanite at the time but he ended up finding an exclusive variety of garnet um, when I was watching the show so um, really interesting and of course you know what it means when we've been on ITV a little bit more competition these days for these bundles so of course we only have a limited number available and there's a huge number of people flying through for this one 14.95 we've had a little bit of a text uh, flurry I think coming through here so we'll uh, we'll go to Bonnie first so Bonnie is texting say I have used purple JM wire to replace the missing bit on the end of the zipper on my purse it looks very pretty there you go perfect um, yeah that's a great idea then Hazel's text in to say Hubby always pinches stuff from my studio. Most recent was beading thread to make a crossbow out of lolly sticks and hair clips. I assume this was, I assume this was um, for uh, sort of playing purposes. I think it was supposed to represent a crossbow for the kids. Otherwise you've created a deadly weapon. <laughs> um, we've got one more from Anne. It says, hi, I use my 0.4 mil wire to reattach my button when it came off my top on the train. Lucky I was weaving on my journey. I'll say, otherwise you're giving everybody a cheap thrill on the train. Um, so yes, there you go. Morning Frost here, one of the most feminine collections we've ever brought to you and available right now for $14.95. So congratulations if you're getting hold of that one. We're moving on. And uh, again, I think that this is going to be very very suitable for the upcoming autumn season oh dear I think uh, oh it's not my fault it's just that it's not tied at one end so <laughs> faceted mukai has just gone flying all over the desk my apologies we'll try and pick them all up um, yeah so I think one of the reasons I love mukai one of the reasons all jewelry makers are drawn towards this gemstone is the variation of colors again something for every scenario something for every season but for me, quite autumnal colours once again because you've got the golden tones, you've got those sort of mustard shades, but a huge range of colour tones here. So you sort of start to edge into the lavender tones, even some amethyst purples there, but then you get the sort of red wine hues and even the rich burgundies as well. So you just cannot go wrong when you're working with Mukai. Does anybody want to hear my rubbish dad joke or has everybody already heard it too many times? <laughs> Somebody in the background over there just went, oh no. <laughs> it was, uh, oh, it was producer Phil that <laughs> was mocking my comedy. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for the ultimate dad joke? 
What does a cow say in the wind? Moo kite. I know I've told, I, start, I pitched it as one I've told before. Do you want me to write new jokes every time? No, that's the nature of a good dad joke. You keep saying it over and over that again. That doesn't even warrant a Christmas cracker. Sorry, but that was pretty appalling, to be honest. It's supposed to be rubbish. It's a dad joke to annoy your children with. I'm going to be... Oh my, where do you want to hear this? Sad indictment of my uh, comedy skills here. <laughs> my director said, there's different levels of rubbish and you've just reached a new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's make it up to everybody with the prize point on our Mookite trio here. Once again, the same gemstone, but in a variety of different sizes and shapes and finishes here because you've got the high polished coins, you've got the frosted finish on your 8 mil rounds and then you've got the faceted finish on your 4 mil rounds. So different finish on each gemstone, different cut, different size. So perfect for creating very sort of coherent designs because the gemstone is all the same and the colour tones are all complementary but different creative options in the way that you can work. You can either rely on the graduation or you might like to try and create quite elaborate weaves or um, different motifs. Of course, you could use maybe the center, uh, the coin as the center of a flower design and maybe the faceted ones around the edge to create that floral look that's so popular. And uh, as ever, really, you're only limited by your own creativity. Oh, great. Now everybody's reading Christmas cracker jokes in my ear in the gallery. <laughs> Why did the lapidarist throw his samples away? Anybody ha wants to hazard a guess? He took them for granite. How come you're all cheering that one? That's as bad as my one. It doesn't even work. The word is granted. <laughs> I'm not bitter. Three strands of Moo Kite for a wholesale price point. That's the idea behind our bundles here at Jewelry Maker. Take three complimentary items, bundle them together and create a unique discount deal. Now this bundle will only be available till 9am tomorrow morning as with all of our wholesale items this morning and all of our price reductions. And uh, this morning we have a very, very special price in mind for this very autumnal gemstone. Three strands of Moo Kite for 11 95 Absolutely fantastic. Less than £4 per strand here for a one location gemstone. So you're only going to be able to find Moo Kite in one region of the world, in the Mooka Creek in Australia. And uh, of course, not only have we mined, cut, faceted, polished, frosted these gemstones but then we've brought them to the other side of the world to provide you with a wholesale price point three strands of moo kite which is actually providing you with over 350 carats of this gemstone for just 11.95 i'll leave that one with you because it does look like it could be another sellout deal and we're going to move on and <laughs> somebody did it. i've got a joke for you say it again why wasn't the geologist hungry? Oh, Everyone's going to... just had a rock cake or something like that, is it? No, it's a bit better than that. Not is much. It? No. He lost his appetite. That's good. It's actually all right. That is really I told you good. that one was all right. That's excellent, actually. Right, now, if you've got a hunger for gemstones, we've got another bundle for you. That's straight off my head. That's ace. Here we go. Again, I would say, <laughs> we're so sad, aren't we? But uh, at least we amuse ourselves. I'm sure there's some people chuckling. Although one lady did text in the other night to say that she was going to hold me accountable if there'd been any damage to her laptop because she found my impressions of the X Factor judges so amusing that she spat coffee all over her computer. <laughs> I'll have to see that. 
I haven't seen your impression. Oh. Tune in next Saturday for the Eds Factor deals and you'll see me doing them, I'm sure. Uh, right now, we've got another Double Trouble deal. So again, taking a collection of gemstones, bundling them together to create a wholesale deal that is only available until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Another must have, really, because this is quite a traditional color tone here. This is, I suppose, what most people would say is, is a sort of emerald green, if you like. And uh, you'd be hard pushed to find emeralds of this size with this depth of colour. But, unfortunately, another reference to the party season. These are a very festive green tone, aren't they? Although, I think uh, we started to think as of uh, green gemstone as kind of a bit of a, a mainstead, if you like. Mother Nature's base tone, so we know it's going to go with any other colour tone. I personally love the combination of green and purple together, so a lot of people are going to have amethyst in their collection. Maybe you got hold of the lavender amethyst nuggets earlier on today. Look at that. I know I'm going to get a, a nod of approval from Mark on this one. Yes, perfect. Yeah, you like yeah, that? Yeah, 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 I love that. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, this would go alongside as well. Maybe the rose quartz. Because then you've got the very subtle effect from, the, from the quartz piece. and then the more vibrant shade from the actual uh, from the quartzite. Some people, I think, uh, might be under the impression that quartzite isn't a genuine gemstone. It absolutely is. Basically, a hybrid gemstone between quartz and sandstone. So it's a little more porous than a traditional quartz because of the inclusion of sandstone there and therefore it makes it perfect for the dyeing processes that we use within the uh, the gemstones that we bring you here on Jewelry Maker and that's why you get this very rich saturation of colour in your quartzite. Now again, um, I think Kim put a little bit of a picture of this on Facebook earlier and it was very heavily requested. As I say, I think it's uh, purely down to the size of the gemstones, they're your traditional 10 mil rounds, and the versatility of the colour tone. I've already got people coming through on the free phone to multi-buy this particular bundle, so we better get the price on screen. Oh! Two. Oh, Two strands for six ninety-five. It's a double trouble deal. Oh my word, that means that you're getting 500 carats of emerald green quartzite for the lowest possible price we can bring you on any of our live shows. Unbelievable. No wonder so many people multi-buying this. That means you've got four so Oh, I've just realized that means that for less than 14 pounds, you can get a thousand carats of quartzite. <laughs> that doesn't add up, does it? Jacqueline's texting to say, hi Ed, I definitely think your Mooko <laughs> joke is the best so far. I like it, even if nobody else does. Thanks, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Thanks, Jackie, for getting involved. Tanya, don't listen to the haters, Ed. I'm all over the <laughs> concept of a good dad joke. Keep it up. <laughs> told you. I told you Tanya was a regular contributor. Straight to my rescue there. Nice one, ladies. <laughs> Uh, and I do think I needed a bit of backup on that one because it was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you've got this place in your basket, once again, I have to say you need to be checking out. I know it sounds obvious, but just to put it in context, whenever we create a double deal, we half our stock levels. And uh, on this occasion, we haven't done anything to the price, I don't think. Am I right in thinking? Unbelievable. 6 95 for two strands. Um, if you do want to get involved, please, please, please start dialing now. Most people actually multi-buying this. Lizzie, you've texted in this morning to say, um, oh, yes. I use beading thread to replace the string on wind chimes because the strings mm. always rot quite quickly outside, of course, because it's uh, facing the elements, of course. Loving the show and the bags. I bought the quartz pendulums. Well, that's a good way of describing the quartz yes. cuts, actually. Oh yeah, Julie, yeah. Julie's also texted. We'll show you the clay quartz a little bit later in the show, I'm hearing. Uh, it says, I use the 0.4 mil wire to repair my six-year-old's tractors and diggers. Stronger <laughs> than the strongest glues. Don't mind the others. Love the dad joke. Oh, you guys can come back. Thanks, Julie, for getting involved. And uh, about 20 minutes left to text in your top tips 
and alternative uses for jewellery making uh, components and we've had some uh, ideal uses for some of these. In fact, I have to say some people's alternative uses for these items are almost better than the intended use. <laughs> I was thinking the reels of uh, the beading thread as your earring displays is just brilliant, yeah, yeah. It's genius. I would never have thought that in a million years but uh, that's the good thing about being part of the jewellery making community. If you've got a top tip to share, lots of people are going to find it very, very useful. Uh, and if you do want to get involved with uh, interacting with us here at Jewellery Maker all day long, then simply go to our Facebook site. We've got around about 40,000 um, likes or friends on, on Facebook sites. So that's pretty impressive, isn't it? And we've got another text coming through. It says, hi all. Great show. Sadly though, Ed, your jokes are rather jaded. Uh. Good one. And uh, it says, I'll be wearing my Pink Panther piece to support Mark and you tomorrow night. There you go. Tune in from 5 p.m. tomorrow for our pink tie affair that Mark and I will be bringing you. And uh, am I right in thinking we're going to have a few special thread offers on that show? Mm -hmm. There you go. That's all I'm going to say right now. I'll reveal more throughout the day, in fact, and uh, I have my own um, individual Facebook site. So if you want to go and find out what's happening in any of my shows, head over to Ed Presenter with a lowercase p. Give us a like and you'll uh, get all the heads up on what's going on in the shows. We're going to move on now to Fan the Flames bundle. Ah, it was a toss up there between 6 and 14. Kim, you'll understand why. Yeah, <laughs> similar colour tones on these two bundles. I knew it was going to be one of these very fiery colour tones here but actually once again perfect for the autumnal months I actually have um, a bit of a a bit of a theory when it comes to orange gemstones and this colour tone it does rely on people creating seasonal collections so if that's not how you work this won't apply to your designs but my idea is that this colour tone works all year round in the winter adding warmth to your designs, in the spring providing you with the perfect accompaniment to your pastel tones and in the summer providing you with that tangerine style vibrancy but I have to say speaks for itself during the autumn months doesn't it. These are those beautiful fall colours that you'd associate with the leaves falling from the trees and uh, maybe bonfire night as well because this one is quite fiery actually. You've got a variation of your colour tones. I love the combination here of the tangerine tone in your rondelles there and uh, that combined with this. I suppose I'm trying to place this, this colour tone here. In fact, you know what? I think the mineral actually sums it up. This is a coral tone. That's a traditional right. color co uh, coral colour, easy for me to say. Um, yeah, because it's a, it's a not a deep red tone there's a pink hue in there and I think really the, the mineral is synonymous with the colour it's a coral shade now you've actually got that mineral once again here in the orange tone so these are two strands of coral very very popular gemstone or, or mineral rather and um, interesting really um, coral because it's almost as though mother nature has provided herself with a little bit of a alternative solution if you like in the form of coral. The coral reefs actually do have a serious impact on a lot of different ecosystems. What they actually do is provide a barricade for when the tide comes in and the waves are crashing against a coastal line. Of course we've all seen like famous erosion in fact even in this country if you look at the the White Cliffs of Dover they're talking about serious erosion they might not be here for that much longer and Basically, what the coral reef does is it doesn't it doesn't create a blockhead. It slows it down, so the waves actually hit the shoreline uh, with less speed and therefore cause less erosion. So Mother Nature protecting herself, if you like, using coral. And as a result, of course, it is a living organism. It's quite a difficult mineral for us to get hold of. We would only ever source ethically sourced coral for you, because there may be some. Uh, unscrupulous characters that do manage to get hold of unethically sourced coral. I don't know how it's done, I don't want to know how it's done, but it does make it a little bit limited in availability. So you've got two strands of coral here. 
The rondelles are 6 by 4 mil, the tubes are 8 by 6 mil, and then you've got your threading materials here. You've got two wax cords, basically in your coral red and your, your golden tone, and then you've got the satin cords in your sort of ruby red and your tangerine. So richer colour saturation in your satin cords, more muted in the wax cord, and of course perfect for a different look, depending on what you're trying to create. Normally, if you were to buy this any other time, it costs you over £20 for two strands of coral and four reels of cord. But, whoa, part of this bundle, the price point, what do you mean? The price point was intended to be £12.95. Oh, I know this trick. This is what they used to do to me when I was the manager, these producers. They send you one price, they get you to approve the bundle. <laughs> Then they maverick it once they're on air. Once you've gone home to finish, you've, you're in your tracksuit and you think, oh, I'm going now if everything's sorted. I'm going to go and finish off those bacon sarnies. You get home and you see them trashing the prices under £10. Unbelievable. But you know what? That's sort of our passion here at Jewelry Maker. We want to make these items as accessible as possible. We want to make the art of jewelry making as enjoyable an experience as we can. And we do that by providing you with this incredible value. We are talking earlier about the kind of price you can pay per meter elsewhere for your cords. Here, you've got 20 meters of satin cord and 20 meters of wax cord. So even without the two strands of coral, which is a very rare, mineral which is quite hard to come by so even without that we're down at 25p per meter on your cord and then we're giving you the two strands of coral a uh, huge number of people flying through for this one as ever we only have a limited number in stock and it's quite interesting here as well because a lot of the times i think coral does have quite strong associations with sort of summer jewelry if you like because it has a sort of tropical feel to it but actually because of these color tones perfect for the autumn and winter months as well. So uh, if you do want to get involved, you know what to do, dial early, less than £10 for two strands of coral and 40 metres of cord for less than £10, that is very, very impressive. We've had a little text, it's come through and it says, hi, I used to fix my shoe when part of the buckle came off about a year ago and it's still going strong. <laughs> oh, sorry, I used wire. I, I, th I used to fix my shoe, yes. I just missed the word. I used wire to fix my shoe when part of the buckle came off. Actually, I had to repair my cowboy boots using one of our jump rings because my uh, friend, when he was intoxicated, was so desperate to try them on that he forgot the size of his own foot. For a minute then, I thought you were going to say that you line dance. No. <laughs> I don't line dance. You don't I, line dance. I wouldn't no. have the rhythm or coordination to no. line dance. I dance like I tell jokes, like a dad. <laughs> My sisters always take the mickey out of me and say that I, uh, I do that Peter Kay thing where he jokes about. I do the uh, walking to the dance floor dance oh, yeah. <laughs> where I try to get everybody else involved and then I get there and I'm like, who wants a drink? <laughs> and just walk off the dance floor. <laughs> That's basically all I've got in my locker. Felicity is uh, texting in the show as well to say, Hi gents, I've used my 0.4mm wire to fix the arm of my friend's glasses when the screw fell out. Um, blinders are back without them. And uh, she loves Mark's designs as well. So thanks for getting uh, involved this morning, Felicity. And somebody else's text through, it's Daisy. No. Uh, that might be part of the text. I'll read it first in order. Uh, place a thin dowel through an empty thread spool to make a stand. Then you can put mm -hmm. spools uh, you're using on it. Uh, oh, it's a storage solution. And it is from Daisy. I just thought all of a sudden could be a reference to a flower here, so I better not <laughs> assume it's somebody's name. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's uh, in keeping with a few of the ideas we've had about the uh, the spools and maybe fixing them to a rod to provide you with storage or presentation solutions. We're going to move on. We've got another wholesale bundle to bring you. Oh, wow. How many of these have you got? I don't think there's going to be enough to go around here. And um, you know that you have got a bit of competition on this, don't you? Yeah, if, if, if the other morning producer was here, Dion, 
Oh, imagine the prize point you'd get on this lovely blue bundle. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm pusher, I'll push her. Uh, <laughs> I know how competitive these producers are. I used to be one. Uh, and uh, this is spectacular. And it's called Deep Blue Sea, although, once again, I'm being transported here to a bit of a winter wonderland. Because you've got the variations of colours here. As ever, I'm going to use different gemstones to describe these. Basically, you've got the darker shade, almost like a kyanite blue on your faceted pyrite rondelles, and then you've got your sky blue, which is providing you with more of that icy tone there. On uh, exactly the same gemstone, your faceted pyrite, and again, you know, I think uh, I was a little bit, I think I, I, my fragile little mind had been a bit warped by my adventures in the gemstone world when I first came over to Jewelry Maker, and I just, I couldn't get my head around coated pyrite. I was thinking, why would anybody want pyrite that isn't gold? It's called fool's gold. I said this to utter dismay in the uh, presence of Gemma Crow, who had my guts for garters. She was like, you must be joking. The coated pyrite is the best thing since sliced bread. Because of course it allows you to actually incorporate that traditional metallic tone into your designs, but you get this huge variety of colour tones which will feed into your designs and of course blue being one of the most popular colour tones for people investing in gemstone jewellery and uh, also here these fantastic plaited cords here, these are your nylon cords you've got the navy, well navy no I'm not, I'm not having that, neither of these are navy this is um, I would suppose I'd go for the two different varieties of appetite. This is like a neon appetite. This is like your sky blue appetite. Certainly not a navy blue. Or maybe a London blue that you'd find on that very exclusive variety of topaz. Not quite navy, not quite deep enough to be navy. It's got a much more of a neon hue here. These are fantastic. You've actually got 80 centimetre lengths of each and they are eight millimetres in diameter. Normally, if you were to buy these two strands of pyrite, and I have to say, these are very sizable, 36 centimetre strands of pyrite here. Normally this would be 18 pounds for the entire bundle. Um, now the intended price of the bundle was 12.95, but now that I've highlighted exactly what producer Dion would do on this. Kim, she's raised the bar, come join us up here. And she has, she's taken it down. To 9.95, she's gone under 10 pounds. Ah, oh. I tell you, I, I think Dion would only have gone to 10.95. You've handed everybody back their P and P. She's a maverick, isn't she? That's what Kimbo does. I don't know who trained that girl to produce these shows, but he must have been world class. <laughs> Kim, of course, she's been with us from day one here at Jewelry Maker. She started as a floor manager, but I tell you what, Kim, you wouldn't have been uh, you wouldn't have been too uh, happy about doing a presenting stint on the hub, would you, as floor manager? <laughs> she said she would have quit. She doesn't like being in front of the camera. And can I just say how fantastic Amelia has been at presenting the hub this morning. She's been brilliant and we've had lots of compliments sent in for you Amelia. So well done for your presenting this morning. You've done very well. Um, there you go. Um, this blue bundle is available right now for 9 95 and of course if you wait until 9am tomorrow you'll have to pay £18 for all of those items. Uh, I've got to leave it with you because we are now approaching the end of the show. We're going to do a quick recap of some of our most popular deals we've brought you. Um, am I to assume it's the his and hers to start with? Oh, sorry, no. The early bird, of course. These fantastic cabochons. 980 carats of dendrite agate here with these gorgeous and very versatile colour tones ranging from the sort of silver tones to those rich dolphin greys, charcoal greys, and even those dramatic storm cloud greys as well. So very, very versatile. Personally, I can't stop thinking about these alongside the frosted rose quartz. Oh, listen to the finish on that. Can you hear that? 
It just oh. sounds gorgeous, doesn't it? It's so tactile, it sounds so organic. That's all thanks to the polishing technique that's been used to create these cabochons. Of course, cabochons synonymous with a number of different disciplines, but as we've seen, the more innovation you can actually apply to your designs, the better. And cabochons traditionally um, being used in maybe soutache designs, but these days they can be uh, set into wirework pendants or macrame settings. Thinking of um, another discipline, maybe you could set them into the likes of silver clay or polymer clay, even if you create a sort of bezel set and using mm. that, and you can maybe set them in, maybe you just yeah. jewellery glue. After you've yeah. baked your polymer clay, you could set them into that. Because then, of course, not yeah. only do you get a distinctive, an individual finish from the gemstone, but you can create any kind of bezel you like. Um, those are available for 24.95, 980 carats in total. Very, very popular this morning. And then we put together a his and hers cord based bundle so you could try the traditional braiding techniques like the macrame techniques that Mark has been demonstrating this morning or you might like to again try some innovative looks and uh, incorporate the threaded materials in other ways here we've got the earthy colours that might be more inclusive of gentlemen's jewellery perhaps and you've got the, uh, the wax finish on all of these the beige the milk chocolate and the dark chocolate and then you've got the bronzite gemstones there as well with that beautiful metallic shimmer and then you've got the femininity from the satin lavender cords the uh, leatherette cord or suede cord sorry and the satin neon purple alongside these gorgeous lavender amethyst nuggets we better get the price on screen because it was a little bit ridiculous i think we worked out that you're making roughly a two pound saving on the threading materials and then getting two strands of gemstones for free. Mark's mind instantly went to the value on this uh, bundle, so I was very impressed. Basically, I know what you jewelry makers are like now. You find out what you're getting for free within a few seconds of <laughs> looking at the price. And why not? When you get a strand of bronzite and amethyst, essentially uh, for nothing no. as part of this bundle, that's what we do. We do walk a tight line here at Jewelry Maker between devaluing genuine gemstones and providing the best value on the market. And of course, that's our aim as ever. Again, I've got to move on because we ha have brought you so many deals this morning. And oh, well, actually, before we do, sorry, we've got these fantastic designs that have been created and I haven't even shown them on screen, which is very silly of me because they are very inspirational. And they do actually show you the sort of, uh, the difference between the his and hers looks there. Very similar to um, the design we saw mm. earlier on the green and the pearls from your kit. So these have been put together by Sue and uh, fantastic use of the amethyst there, but uh, I'm not sure whether that will still be here at one minute past 1 p.m. So anyway, uh, <laughs> we're gonna move on uh, because which one do we bring them now? The clear quartz? And I think we'll go along with uh, the previous classification brought to us by one of our customers. I think I'm going to call them the, uh, the pendulums rather than the yeah. shards there. Very uh, icy-like feel to these. Perfect for high-end jewellery, I have to warn you. Less than 20 of these remaining in stock. So that just goes to show you how popular they've been. And at 19.95 for these very distinctive faceted finish on the gemstones, you know you're on to a winner because you've got a very traditional look from the clarity on your clear quartz going to link into so many different genres of jewelry making but also it's going to go with any other gemstone although uh, for the most part I think people were using these as standalone gemstones that's the way everybody's mind was working I was thinking of you know one gemstone um, on the pen uh, as a pendant maybe for evening wear Mark was saying um, you know um, on a longer length of chain down to the navel would be very very effective or maybe uh, just as sort of an ornamental effect with around the house mm -hmm. as well because of course once you get the uh, the, the sunlight hitting those gems it'll be dispersed around the room that's fantastic good way to actually appreciate the gems so maybe before you start jewelry making mm -hmm. as well um i've got to leave that one because it does look like it's going to be a sellout deal don't take my word for it if you want to get hold of them speak to a member of our award-winning help team but uh where are we moving on to sorry oh yes fantastic 
So again, very limited availability, but just in case you miss the start of the show, maybe you've just got back in, if you've got other commitments, you don't want to miss out on this. 900 carats of your black stripe quartz agate in your 35 mil puffy coins, all for 9.95. That was very, very impressive. Not just because of the huge carat weight and the price point, but actually each and every gemstone kind of awe-inspiring, really. It really captures the imagination. And really, I think, shows you what jewellery making is all about, really, because I don't think that when people are investing in bespoke jewellery designs that they want a sort of uh, mass-produced look. They want a one-of-a-kind. They want to know nobody else has that piece of jewellery. And when you're working with these gemstones, you can be very confident that that is the case. And we also brought you the rectangular variety there. Uh, exact same colour tones in the banding and that monochrome effect. And, of course, the exact same price, 995 Details of which are available at the bottom of your screen right now. Uh, very limited availability remaining on both of these strands. And we are now going to head over to the designer desk to see what Mark has created with his challenge. So we brought a selection of goodies. And we actually spoke about this at the start of the show, saying that sometimes we like to take our designers out of their comfort zone to see what they'll create with a, a unique design brief. But this was pretty much <laughs> tailored for your was designs, perfect. wasn't it? Absolutely perfect. I've just made, do you remember we had that, the first kit? And we had the two rows. Yes. Well, I actually made the three rows. I thought, I wonder what it would look ah, like. You wanted it, to see it, yeah, yeah and you've done it. Turned it out really nicely. Wow. Just been talking about mm. the use of the monochrome effects, and this perfect, is perfect, yeah. isn't it? Now, uh, I'll show you everything you're going to get because you've got the two forms of the hemp cord the 0.5 mil and the one millimeter there. So, perfect for your macrame designs two strands of golden obsidian here so on the face of it on your tv screens that's going to appear to be jet black but when you see it in the flesh you're going to be able to pick out this gorgeous optical effect this little metallic shimmer inside the gemstone hopefully it's coming through there oh i can see it how how frustrating hold on i'll find one uh there we go. how about this one there you go even in our studio lighting we're able to show you this essentially fossilized lava that you're actually getting when you're investing in obsidian then you've got your um silver plated copper findings is that correct yeah um you get uh, a lender chain two different toggle clasps there you get the detailed sort of rope effect one your jump rings and your ribbon cord ending so important when you're creating these braining techniques and then of course to really boost the wholesale opportunity here, 195 individual silver plated copper beads. They're four mil in size. And uh, just have a look at this. So you can create very feminine looks, necklace style design there. Ah, and you've used the little jump rings yes. as the sort of rosary style links. I love yeah, that. That's a great idea. Way. Yeah. So placing the jump rings in between the two spaces creates that very traditional look. Um, and then uh, this design is the one I've fallen in love with. I mean, how much would you probably charge for that? Uh, Fifteen pounds. Fifteen pounds. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's a perfect stocking filler for you know a teenage no, lad, absolutely. something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of jewellery. I've got all and, that. And uh, bearing in mind, Mark was demonstrating other techniques, talking to me for four hours. He still managed to create all of this. So that just goes to show mm. the potential of this bundle at just 19.95. Unfortunately, I'd love to stay here all day and talk to Mark about gemstones and jewellery, but I've only got a few seconds left on the show. Stay tuned because coming up, Jenny and Frankie with some designer inspiration. Just enough time for me to thank Mark, as thank always. You, thank you. And of course, Mark and I will be back on screen tomorrow evening from 5 p.m. And uh, you're invited to our pink tie do. Thanks to all the guys for putting the show together, especially Amelia for her uh, presenting skills this morning. There she is. Uh, thank you and good afternoon. The four most common details considered in the industry when securing a quality gemstone are described as the four C's. The first C we look for is color. The colour of a gemstone refers to the hue, tone and, more importantly, the even saturation of colour within the gemstone. This can make the difference between a poor stone and a highly exquisite gem, being highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Secondly, we look for clarity. 
almost all gemstones can contain some type of inclusions formed during crystallization. Some gemstones, for example emerald, are acceptable with inclusions, whilst others are graded on how clean they are. Then we look for carat. Gemstones are always measured in carat weight when cut and commonly in grams as rough. Additionally, there are 100 points in every carat, so every point counts. And last, but definitely not least, we come to cut. The cut is the most misunderstood and underestimated of the four C's. The cut should never be